Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. We've got Father's Day baseball. It's the Miami Marlins going up against the New York Mets. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go. And starting this one, Chris Bassett. What do we have on him? Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club. And what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him. And it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point. Maybe it's the motion. But just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. Jazz Chisholm at the plate now. Looks at one down below the zone. First pitch, 140. Here's a drive out to right center. Way back there. Look out. Gone. A towering home run. His 14th of the year. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. Well, we see this so much more today. Lineups with pop in the leadoff spot, and it really puts the pitcher in a tough spot out there where he has to execute right away. You can't just get over a couple of strikes to settle in, get comfortable, because at the plate, that guy's looking to do exactly what he just did. Start the game off with a huge bang. John Birdie at the plate. That the third base. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. And a pitch. And there's a strike. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. 0-2 oh now. Oh, and he hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. You know, Boog, you always say how important it is to have a good feel for the game. I, I say after the game, you step into the box, I'll throw some fastballs at you. No, actually, I think we're good, Chris. Avisail Garcia takes a ball here as he stands in now. Nobody out. Runner at first. Next offering is in for a strike. That one finds the zone. Now what a two. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. Ripped to third and caught. As we take a look at Don Mattingly's lineup for the Marlins. And so far this year, this has not been a very good offense. Well, in this day and age, if you can't slog and get on base, that OPS has to be at a certain level. If you're going to produce runs, give your pitchers an opportunity as they're facing tough offenses as well. Miguel Rojas at the play. Bassett checks over to first, and he's back. And that's in there for strike one. Yo, one. Runner, runner, runner. Birdie runs. There's a ball. Throw to second. Ow! That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate.
Righty delivers. And it is two and one. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part and get it on the inside part of the plate as well. Out towards left center. Nimmo racing over to make the catch. Miami strikes first on the solo homer. It's now 1-0. Bottom of the first, pitching in our game today, Sandy Alcantara. Well, this guy's just been filthy out there on the mound. Hitters batting under 200 against him, and they're just having a hard time squaring up anything, doing any type of damage. The only way he hurts himself is if he gives up the free passes and surrenders a rare home run. But outside of that, it's going to be a tough job for the opposing lineup today. Bottom of the first, here's a speed threat, Brandon Nimmo. There's the strike. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Next pitch misses, and a count one and two. Slap the other way, foul. Next offering down low and in the dirt. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. And the right-hander deals. Off the outside edge with that one, and now it's filled up. Here's a rocket out to left. Williams makes the play, and there's one down. Here's a Mets lineup now. A guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, Francisco Lindor. And Boog, we're talking about a guy who has great wheels and then puts them to good use. He's the team leader in stolen bases and run score, man. Using his speed to just get in the scoring position and then just flying home when the guy's behind him put the ball in play. I absolutely love watching him do it because he causes havoc on the base paths. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. Owen two now on the ground right side toss to Diaz and here this afternoon two quickly away in the bottom of the first good late bite on that slider got the hitter out in front rolled over on it exactly what he was supposed to do and now it's Frankie Lindor he's got pop which is a little sneaky because He's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field, but he can jump you if you make a mistake. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. And that one got a piece of him. 
Well, it definitely didn't come out of his hand the way that he was intending it to, and the release point was a little bit off as well. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. In there, and it's 0-1. Text offering upstairs. Lindor off of first with two away. Alcantara over to first. Lindor back in there. Right-hander kicks, deals. Just missed. And here it comes. That one missed. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. And he walked him. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. Jeff McNeil stands in. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. That one's in there, 0-1. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. This one in the air right field, and Carnacion on the move to his left. He's got it, and that is out number three. Two left for the Mets. They trail here, one nothing. Welcome back. Second inning set to go. And now for the Marlins, Lewin Diaz. The first baseman, number 34, Lewin Diaz. The wind and the pitch. There's a strike. Left hand batter waits. Ball. And ball one. one Joe ball McDonald one doing the home plate duties here. Well, Joe's an interesting one. I'm always trying to figure out what exactly his zone is. It feels like it kind of moves around from game to game, sometimes inning to inning. Next ball offering two. misses. Two and one. Yeah, I think that's fair. I don't think he's ever way off with his balls and strikes. But, yeah, I don't think it's easy to define what his zone is, like you said. Hey. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. One away. Well, you see him trying to pull that inside pitch right there, and that's not the kind of approach that you want to have. Even if you do get to it, it's going to be very difficult to keep it fair. You're just going to make it a long strike at best. You have to be able to stay within the baseball on the inside of that path to it, and that way, if you're a little quick, the ball gets hit hard somewhere, and it's not foul. Jacob Stallings now. And first offering is fouled off. The why to kick the pitch. Ball one low. Line drive. That's a base hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. 
that's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Brian De La Cruz, the next up for the Marlins. He's going, he's going. Water takes off. Swing and a miss. The throw, tag, and he's out. Usually when you see a team try to steal a base in the early innings, it tells you they want to be aggressive on offense. Try to force the defense to make plays and slow them down. That's exactly what they did right there. So we'll see if that caught stealing changes the offensive approach moving forward. Two outs. Out to short. Lindor picks it up. Zips it across. That ends the frame. After an inning and a half, it's 1-0. Back here in Queens. And now Eduardo Escobar. Leading up for the Mets. The third baseman, Eduardo. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Here's the 0-2. Oh. And now one and two. The count is one and two. The one two. Two balls, two strikes. And a foul ball. The 2-2 two -two. stays alive. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two strikes. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Here's Luis Guillorme. First offering, and it just misses. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Lead runner to second, so two on, and nobody out. Back-to-back -back singles. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Now a huge at-bat in this game coming up. Now the left fielder, Nick Plummer. In there for strike one. Now the 01. Swing and a miss at 99 miles an hour. First and second here, no outs. Gets away from Stallings. Batting up. The catcher. Tomas Nito with the plate. 
This is a guy who's in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position, and that's what he does. Righty to the plate, and it's one and one. The hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out. But right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense. Escobar at third, Guillaume over at second with one down. Next pitch off the play, two and two. On the ground, Birdie handles the chance. There for the out, runner scores from third. They'll expect a back and forth this entire game because of how good the offenses are. Back to the top of the Mets order. So up next for New York, Brandon Nimmo. And that's in there for strike one. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. Runner leads away at second. They say it went. The next pitch misses. Yeah, the count one and two. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. One, two now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Tied up here in the early going. And it's even up. And the pitch stays alive. This one high in the air to left center. De La Cruz turns to the right on the move. And that is that. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. We play two full, all tied 1-1. One, one. Back here at the ballpark, top half of the third inning. Here's the rookie right fielder, Perrar Encarnacion. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat, getting that first hit at the big league level. Bassett back to work. That one misses, and that's ball one. Next one is off the plate. Two balls, no strikes to count. Next pitch misses outside. And it's 3-0. Kicks and fires. And that's in for a strike. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Luke Williams. In there, and it's 0-1.
and the 0-1. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. At the belt and fires. And there's a foul ball. And he deals. Rudder at first with no outs here. Hit weakly on the ground. And he grabs it in foul ground. Next one misses. And the count is even two and two. Here comes a pitch. And now it's filled up. That's a really good take. And the righty deals. And ball four to a board. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. Back to the top of the lineup, and up next for Miami, Jazz Chisholm. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. And the 1 0. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. No outs, runners at first and second. Out there to center. Nimmo settles under it, brings it in, and there's one down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat and at the plate for Miami John Birdie it's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively but runs pretty well so when you're looking at that position you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed but he does Encarnacion, the lead runner out at second. Williams at first, one gone. That one ran inside, almost got him. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Two on, one out. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And down on strikes he goes. Now two away. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. Garcia in the box now. Take strike oh, one. the pitch fouled off he was late first and second two down Next offering is fouled back. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Out number three. 
Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Starling Marte. The right fielder. Starling Marte. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Ball one, no strikes. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He'll circle the bases, and just like that, they're out front. It's 2 1. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. And stepping in for New York, Francisco Lindor. Hit by a pitch his first time up. Ground ball right side, and it goes just foul. The pitch. And that one fouled off. This guy's seen two changeups in a row. Could be a little vulnerable for a fastball right here. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the first out. Well, clearly just anxious right there. And understandably so. In an 0 2 count, you feel like you've got a lot of plate to cover. And you don't want to strike out, and you end up striking out. That's just one of those pitches where it's not over the plate, but because you committed to it as it was leaving his hand, by the time you realized it wasn't going to be in the zone, it's too late to hold up your swing. Here's Pete Alonso. First pitch, not close. Right-hander kicks deals. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. The, the next ball. offering misses. Two balls, two strikes. That one hammered, but pulled foul. And a pitch. Late swing fouled off. It's really trying to stay in on the hands, not let them get extended, because that's where the potential for damage exists. And he chases that one. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Such a challenge when a guy's got great velocity. He's throwing a slider over 90 miles per hour. You want to be ready to hit that fastball, but that late break just eats you up every time. And now here's Jeff McNeil. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. The 0-1, and it's quickly nothing in two. 
on the designated hitter. Next offering misses down and away. Here's a one two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that'll do it. The Mets do pick up a run on this solo blast. And this is now a 2 1 ball game. As we go to the top of the fourth, now here's the cleanup hitter for Miami, Miguel Rojas. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out and he makes all the plays. The wind of the pitch. And that's in for a strike. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond and still get a pretty that's good a runner. That's impressive. The wind of the pitch. Aye. Strike two. Aye. The punch out there, now one away. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. And now for the Marlins, Lewin Diaz. Swings through that one. 0 and 1. The pitch. Swings and misses. No, ball, two no balls, two strikes. And look out. Yep. That one gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. Boog, that wasn't even close. You know, sometimes a guy will barely miss the zone and hit someone, but right there, he completely lost the handle, and that's when it gets a little scary. Stallings batting for the second time and that's strike one Diaz stands at first with one out Next offering is in for a strike That's inside. Down, one and two. One and two here. That misses. Oh, and that's ball two. The two two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next pitch downstairs, and now three and two. Three, two now. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Righty delivers, and there's ball four. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Brian De La Cruz now at the plate. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. That one's in there, 0-1. On one. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue, finish off this hitter. Going two as he waves at that one.
In the air to left center. Plummer heading to the alley. That's out number two. Ferrar and Carnacion, the next up for the Marlins. First pitch, and he just misses. Foul ball there. And a count one and two. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Third out. Marlin strand a pair. They're down two to one. Back here at City Field, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Eduardo Escobar. Eduardo Escobar. And here it comes. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next offering upstairs. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. The 2-0 is in for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. And it's fouled away. Two-two now. Off the mark there. And a full count now. And that's ball four. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. Luis Guillorme getting ready to hit. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And the right-hander deals. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. And a pitch. Way inside, gets out of the way. The one-two. That misses the zone. Now two and two. Two-two down. Squirts away a little bit. Next offering is fouled back. And a payoff pitch. Dive, and he's got it. Rojas over to second, on to first, safe. 
So they get one, but a really nice try there. Just a beautiful play right there to get it out. He dives to make the stop. Then a nice speed from his knees. Knew he didn't have time to get up and make that throw. The throw beats the runner. That's that internal clock working. And next for the Mets, Nick Plummer. And first offering is fouled off. Next pitch is downstairs. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself... Can't field it cleanly. Goes to second. Safe there. And he'll be safe at first. Next to hit, Tomas Nito. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. And that's in there for strike one. Kick Sandios. Slice down the right side. pitch and a swing and a miss two gone here's Brandon Nimmo he's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed but he can absolutely move and it is a factor in his game liner base hit here comes the runner, and that gets all the way to the wall. One run is in. In there safely. you got to get on your horse and get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. Starling Marte up to hit. He's already homered in this game. The right fielder, number six, That's a laser base hit. Right past his coach, headed for the plate. Not in time. He's safe. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. First offering misses badly for ball one. Alcantara over to first. Back standing. He's in there safely. Left-hand batter waits. Marte leads off first with two down to the inning. Next pitch off the play. And yeah, that's ball two. Kicks and fires. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. That's it for a strike. Throw to second and great jump. Well, he's really showing us the dynamic skill set he brings to the field on this one. Homered earlier. Now he swipes second. Showing off the speed. Really fun to watch him play the game. On the ground to the left. Rojas with the throw to first. Lindor retire. Inning over. We played four. It's the Mets five and the Marlins one.
Welcome back. Ready now for the fifth inning. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Luke Williams. The fish in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Yeah, the pitch is in for a strike. That's strike one. Right-hander kicks, deals. Bounced out to short. Lindor collects, zips it to first. One up, one down. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Jazz Chisholm now. This guy has turned into a beast. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside, for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. That one ripped, but foul. One down, base is empty. Fought off foul. The why to kick the pitch. And nope. that's down and away. One ball, two strikes to count. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. John Birdie, the next John. up for the Marlins. Birdie. And first offering is fouled off. Now, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. And he deals. And a swing and a miss. That's his second strikeout. And the Marlins down quietly. They're down 5-1. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And here's the first baseman, Pete Alonzo. He's not going to get cheated baseman. up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Here comes a pitch. Nope. And takes low for ball one. That one misses. Now 2-0. Next offering is in for a strike. The 2 1. Good eye right there. And the righty deals. That one fouled off. Righty to the plate. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Now it's the DH, Jeff McNeil. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And here it comes. Foul ball. Hey. 
And he grounds one to the right side. Over to first. Home half of the fifth inning moving along. Two quick outs. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to him. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. First offering misses the mark. Ball one, no strike. Bounce to the left side. Stallings throw to first in time. And that is the inning. Five innings complete. It's the Mets five and the Marlins one. Back here at the ballpark, Avisail Garcia up to the plate. The wind and the pitch. And Garcia gets a piece. Next pitch is inside. Ball one. In the air, center field. Nimmo in position. Squeezes it. One down. The bat, number 11. Shortstop, Miguel Rojas. So now it's the four hole hitter, Miguel Rojas. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Next offering is down low. Two balls, no strikes. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. Hey. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Two two now. Just not taking the bait right there, but a good pitch with two strikes. Kicks and fires. And he walked him. The first base Digging the in, Lewin Diaz. Lewin. He's 0 for 1. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Stirring in the bullpen for the Mets. Adonis Medina up and throwing. Lopez getting cranked up as well. And the pitch. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Oh, and now a wild pitch. To second, but he beats the throw. Save. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Nimmo settles underneath it. Two down. Now that the catcher, Jacob. Jacob Stallings will hit next. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. In there for strike one. 
really good athlete and many times we talk about you know the feet of infielders this catcher as well really quick feet he's able to recognize the pitch see the trajectory and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop Owen Chu now on the ground right side toss to Alonzo they get the out on Stallings that's out number three seven eight nine due up in the home half of the inning it's the Mets five and the Marlins one back now for the bottom of the sixth and there's a new pitcher on the mound Daniel Castano this southpaw has been really good against left-handed hitters well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Bottom of the six and stepping in for New York, Luis Guillorme. Luis Guillorme. And a pitch. That misses. One and oh. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, nope. same side he throws from. 2-0. Well struck right field back there. That's down. One hops off the wall. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Nick Plummer up now for the Mets. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Action in the pen down there. Steven Okert appears to be warming for Don Mattingly. No outs. Runner on second. Slapped foul. The 0-2. Very dominant with that fastball inside. Hitter's going to be conscious of that. Now you have the outer half of the plate to work with out there on the mound. Man at second. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. One away, bottom of the sixth. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Nito. And here is Tomas Nito. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. This ball's chopped on the ground. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. So the batting order turns over. Brandon Nimmo, the next to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. Next offering is downstairs. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch.
Guillaume over at second. Nito over at first with one away. On the ground right side. Toss to Diaz. And two away now. The battle. The right fielder. Starling. Marte. So up next for New York, Starling Marte. He blasted one out earlier in the third. Just a solo home run, but an important swing of the bat in this game. We've already seen him do it once. Can he do it again? Bit of strategy here. They issue the intentional walk, and that'll set up a force play at any base. Two outs, bases loaded. Here's Francisco Lindor. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Next offering is down low, and that's ball one. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Two outs. Fouled off left side. Bases loaded, two down. In the air, out towards right center. And that is that. Mets leave them loaded. They're up 5 1. Taking over on the mound for the Mets, Adonis Medina. He last pitched two days ago. Number 68, Adonis Medina. We go to the top of the seventh. Here's the center fielder, Brian De La Cruz. The center fielder, Brian De La Cruz. The pitch. There's the strike. Gets under and pops it up. Lindor drifts towards it. He's got it. And there's one down. Up next for the Marlins. The right fielder. Herrar Encarnacion. So up next. Herrar Encarnacion. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. In the air, fairly deep to right field. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. Now back, left fielder, Luke Williams. Two outs, base is empty. Luke Williams, the next up for the Marlins. And first offering is fouled off. Right-handed reliever. There's a strike. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Next pitch inside. And the count is one and two. Kicks and deals. Stays alive. The pitch. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. The wind of the pitch. Off the mark there. Full count now.
3-2 now. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Nimmo makes the catch, and that'll do it. And 1-2-3 go the Marlins. They're down here 5-1. Here in Queens, set for the last half of the seventh. Here's some real power at the plate. Pete Alonso. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. And a pitch. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Next pitch misses, and the count is 2-0. and oh. And fouled off. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. That one hit to right. Encarnacion gliding back and makes the grab. And there's one down. The batter, number one, designated hitter, Jeff. And now the DH, Jeff McNeil. Jack Swing went around, and that is strike one. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. That one missing inside. He swings and fouls one off. One, two now. And downstairs. Two balls, two strikes. Left-hand hitter waits. Lifted in the air, right center field. Encarnacion makes the play. Two up, two down. Now batting, the third baseman, Eduardo Escobar. And now, Eduardo Escobar. there and it's on one line drive caught nothing doing for the Mets they lead this one though 's a second baseman Chaz Chisholm and Singy he started this one off with a bang yes he did it always feels great when you can connect with one right away certainly a shot of confidence for the entire lineup and a shot to the heart for this crowd the wind of the pitch now the corner for a strike it's 0 and one. Next offering is in for a strike. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. In the air out to center, Nimmo sizing this one up. Long run, tracks it down. And there's one away. Now batting, third baseman, John 
Birdie. John Birdie, the next up for the Marlins. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Nimmo has this one sized up. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two away. The batter, the designated hitter, Abisayu Garcia. Two outs, base is empty. Now here's the Marlins DH, Abisayu Garcia. On the ground the first. Slides, but it gets by him. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box, got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. And now, Miguel Rojas. Garcia off of first with two away. Aye. Next offering is in for a strike. One and one. The one and one. And that one handled. Tosses to first. Oh. And that is the third out of the inning. One left for Miami. They're down 5-1. Steven Oker gets handed the rock out of the pen. Hasn't pitched in the last three days. Steven Oker. And welcome back. Bottom of the eighth. Now it's the second baseman, Luis Guillorme. For the, Mets, the second baseman, Luis Guillorme. The pitch. Swing and a miss. That's off the mark. One and one. And a pitch. And that one sliced foul. The pitch. Guillaume checks his swing, appeal to third, and he couldn't hold back. He's rung up on strikes. Nick Plummer up now for the Mets. First offering misses the mark. Miami's bullpen with some action. Lewis Head appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. time he struck out in this one and definitely an individual performance you want to flush he just hasn't looked very comfortable up there just one of those days but when you're still winning the ball game at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that w and next for the mets tomas nito and the first offering is not close
The lefty to 1 0. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. Two zero. In for a strike and a count two and one. Next offering in the dirt. They're now three and one. And he deals. There's the strike. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And that will end the inning. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. We go to the ninth, and at the plate for Miami, Lewin Diaz. The first baseman, number 34. And the right hander back to work. And there's a ball. Counts one and oh. There's a strike. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. to kick the pitch misses off the plate the count now two and two swing and a miss struck him out and he's down on strikes for the second time today you know variant speeds can be just as useful for a pitcher as movement as you see right there it really was in a great location but the fact that the velocity change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. Now it's the Marlins catcher, Jacob Stallings. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Righty delivers. And now it's even up. Next pitch is outside. Ripped, but it curls foul. Here comes a pitch. In the air, right field. Marte under it. Puts the squeeze on it. And there's two down. Brian De La Cruz, the next up for the Marlins. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Breaking ball inside. And now 2-0. Oh. A little out front there as he swings through it. Oh, that's that slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to it. 
Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Next pitch misses inside. Full count, three and two. Down to their final strike. And it's ball four. He missed down low. And now here is Ferrar Encarnacion. And that's in there for strike one. Well, in an 0-0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. De La Cruz off of first with two away. They say it went. Just one out away. Try to close it out. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And yeah, the right hander deals. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. Another day, another win. I really think these guys have forgotten how to lose a ball game. It's been so long since they've lost. I really don't know what else to say. They're just a can't-miss ball club right now. 5-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Seven men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 49 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.
From the hallowed grounds of Fenway Park, we've got Father's Day Baseball. It's the St. Louis Cardinals and the Boston Red Sox. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, first pitch coming up. And on the hill in this one, Nick Pavetta. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, he's putting together a really nice season on the mound. ERA in the low threes. Very respectable when you consider guys are looking to do damage. They're not trying to just walk and hit singles. They're trying to hit homers and draw walks and score runs. So when you have a guy that can limit the other team from scoring more than a few Leading runs, that's really tough to beat game in and game out. All right, just about ready to go here at Fenway. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Tommy Edmond. That misses. So we're underway with some Father's Day baseball. First pitch, 136. Next pitch is outside. Next one is off the play, and it's 3-0. In for a strike, now three and one. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Out to short. Whips it to first. And they get Edmund for the out. Here's a Cardinals lineup now. It features a great veteran presence, Paul Goldschmidt. It's kind of a joke that this guy's got a career OPS over 900. I mean, there are a lot of players that hope that they could just do that in one season, but he's done it his entire career. And in reality, there's only about 60 players that can claim that type of production. Now, Brendan Donovan. No score, just getting started, top of the first. Next offering misses, and now it's even one and one. That one down the line. Dahlbeck He's steps out. on the bag. Nice, efficient start to the afternoon. That's two out. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. All around, I think if you asked anyone in this organization, who's the best hitter in the lineup? They would say him. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 and 2 now. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just got to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. St. Louis goes down in order. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. Half an incomplete. We've got no score. Back here at Fenway. And our starting pitcher here today, Jack Flaherty. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. And first offering is fouled off. kicks and fires pitch misses one ball one strike swing and a miss and it's one and two
Next pitch inside. Ball two. And there's a foul ball. Out to short. Edmund handles. Fires across the diamond. One gone, bottom half of the first. As we check out the lineup for the Boston Red Sox. A guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, Alex Verdugo. Well, Boog, there aren't many guys who have a flair for the big moment like he does. I mean, batting over 400 with runners in scoring position. Are you kidding me? I know it's not guaranteed or an automatic, but I hope we get to see him in a close late game situation with runners in scoring position and just see, is he truly a machine or not? Rafael Devers in the box with one away as he takes one there for a ball. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. To the right side, Donovan picks it up to first, and the home first moving along quickly today. Two gone. J.D. Martinez stands in. Martinez not having as much success with the bat here at home as you see the splits. Talking yeah. about Martinez, he's one of the best fastball hitters in the, the game. Count. Yeah, some guys are concerned about velocity, but he embraces it. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. One guy that was really great once the count got to two strikes, Miguel Cabrera. Swings and misses, and that ends the inning. On to the second from Fenway Park. No score. Back here in Boston, top of the second. Now up the Cardinals' number four hitter, Nolan Arenado. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. The right-hander back to work. Late swing, fouled off. Stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be in the all-star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. And Chris behind the plate today, James Kingsley, known for being a little generous on the edges. The wind and the pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Bradley going back on this one. Long run, nice grab. And there's one away. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Well, Boog, one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. Second inning here, no score. Next offering is in for a strike. The one two. And down on strikes. And there are two down. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Two outs, space is empty. Now up for St. Louis, Dylan Carlson. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. The 
They'll score here in the second. The 0 2. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. And a ball in two strikes. And that one wrapped foul. Righty to the plate. Great take right there. Showed some really good discipline. Breaking ball coming in. You see it well, but don't trust that it's going to hang on for a strike. Nice job. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Nothing doing there for St. Louis. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the second. And stepping in for Boston, Xander Bogarts. This guy is an elite level hitter, especially considering contact, just the ability to hit for average. What you really like, though, stays in against those righties, and that's not so easy as a right-handed batter. That's in for a strike. There's some players, for whatever reasons, they seem to just face a slew of right-handed pitchers, and their comfort level increased so much that they actually prefer to face that same side thrower in a tough situation. Out to center. Bader should have this one. One up, one down. Batting fifth. The left fielder. Allen. Here's Alex Verdugo. In there for strike one. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. The next pitch misses. One and two to count. Too close for me, partner, to take that 0-2 fastball, but for whatever reasons, he let it go by. He's still in the at-bat. I don't think he'll let the next one go. And down on strikes he goes. And now two gone. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with the high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Here's Trevor's story. Swings through that one. 0 oh 1. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. One ball, two strikes, again. Two down, nobody on. And that one fouled off. Next offering down in the dirt. Next one just misses. Three and two now.
Payoff pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. And now it's Christian Vasquez. In there, and it's 0-1. And the righty deals. And there's something you don't see very much in today's game, the pitch out. Flaherty moved to first. Story back in on a dive. And the pitch. A one-two count. All he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And that is that. One left for the Red Sox. We'll move to the third with no score. Back inside Fenway Park. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Albert Pujols. Pavetta back to work. Oh. I don't know how you take that. That was a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one in the dirt. Got him swinging. And one away in the top of the third. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was up. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table and you can't make contact. And now Bader up to the plate. And that's in there for strike one. The 0 1. Foul ball there. Owen 2 now. The punch out there. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. The catcher, Yvonne Herrera. Two outs, space is empty. Ivan Herrera next up for the Cardinals. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Man, that was pretty gross right there. Pitch misses. Going to count one and two. 0 2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Top of the third, no score. Ripped on a line to center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. And down in order go the Cardinals. Still no score.
Bottom of the inning. Here's the veteran outfielder, Jackie Bradley Jr. Leading off for the Red Sox. Jackie Bradley Jr. There's some swing and miss, but he's got some pop as well. The best example of a streaky hitter. When he gets hot, team can jump on his back because he will carry him for a while. Bradley waits. And now the count is even. pitch way high towards first Pujols over to pick it up tosses to the pitcher covering the bag pitcher gets to the bag for the out here's Bobby Dahlbeck First pitch just misses. The 1 0. And that one fouled off. Next offering is in for a strike. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing plate. Righty delivers. And it's even up. Next one misses all three. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Out number two. Rob Ref Snyder up next for the Red Sox. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Not what he's looking for there in the 0 0 count. Looks like he wants the ball down in the zone. Next offering is in for a strike. He doesn't seem to like the pitch up, hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0 2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. The next offering misses. Now one, one and two. One and two. Next one <laughs> in the dirt. Next offering is fouled back. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. That's the third out, inning over. Red Sox go down quietly, and we're still knotted at zero. Back here at Fenway Park, onto the fourth, and now the shortstop, Tommy Edmond. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Pitch is in for a strike, and it's 0-1. Here's your one. 
That misses the zone. And one and one. Next pitch misses. Two and one. The count two and one. It's softly on the ground left side. And that's just foul. Left hand batter waits. Three. Got him. And there's one down. Now just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter yeah. saw it all the way the coming from that opposite arm yeah. angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. And up next for St. Louis, Brendan Donovan. Ball First one. offering misses the mark. In the air, out towards left center. He makes the grab, two down. The batter, the designated hitter, Paul Goldschmidt. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. First pitch, and he just misses. Next offering is in for a strike. Kicks and deals. That's in there. One and two. Good pitch to hit on a tee up in the zone. I think he was looking for something else right there. Two outs. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And it's a one, two, three inning. Redbirds down quietly. And we are still scoreless. Back here in Boston. Now it's Devers at the plate. This guy makes great contact, one of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. There's a strike. Oh, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Stays alive. Now one out to right. Carlson under it. And out number one on the grab. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. J.D. Martinez stands in. Both you and I know how much attention to detail that J.D. Martinez pays. Kind of makes me think of Albert Pujols, who has been called the machine at times during his career. I'd venture to say you could put J.D. Martinez in that same category, at least the way he approaches his craft. The next pitch misses, and that is ball one. That smash towards center. Makes the grab on the run. And there's two down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it. But sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. Bogarts swings through that one as he comes to the play for the second time today.
Left field, way back there. This one's got a chance. Grabs it right up against the wall. Nothing doing for Boston. Still no score. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's Nolan Arenado. Leading off to St. Louis. The third baseman. Nolan Arenado. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. Next pitch is downstairs. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Next pitch in the dirt. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes. That one misses in the dirt. Got him. One away. Oh, really expanded the zone right there with that fastball off the outside corner of the play. Got him to chase it. That's a tough one to lay off of because it starts close to you and just continues to run away from you in that batter's box. So it's a really nice pitch with two strikes. Now up for St. Louis, Tyler O'Neill. First off, bringing it just misses. The cards hitless so far in the game. Next pitch downstairs. Two balls, no strikes to count. And the right-hander deals. And now two balls and a strike. Well, he came right at him right there, challenged him with the 2-0 fastball. Not sure exactly what he was looking for, but got to imagine that's a confidence booster on the mound. You're in that hitter's head a little bit. Strike two. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Comes a 2 2. And that misses off the outside edge. The Cardinals yet to pick up a hit here. Got him. Two away. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. This is Dylan Carlson. Went down on strikes his first time through. Popped up to the left into foul ground. Devers makes the catch and that'll do it so five perfect innings in the books last half of the fifth coming up and we still have no score back now at Fenway ready to go for the last half of the inning leading, leading off, off Alex Verdugo no left fielder Alex Verdugo The pitch. There's the strike. Pitch misses outside, and it's one and one. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0 2 count. Instead, it's 1 1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. Out towards left center. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And there's one down. Now back to second baseman, Trevor. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate.
That hits the dirt. Ball one. The Red Sox still looking for their first hit in this one. So two balls and no strikes. Next offering is foul back. The two one. Bounce to the right side. Donovan picks it up and Story is out. Christian Vasquez up next for the Red Sox. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. In there for strike one. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. That's a ball. That's out to center field. Makes a nice running catch. That is the inning. Down in order go the Red Sox. And we're still knotted at zero. New inning getting started. And now the first baseman, Albert Pujols. The first baseman, Albert Pavetta back to work. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Next offering is fouled back. The wind of the pitch. And the one two misses to even the count. Two two now. That one fouled off. Here's the two two. And now it's filled up. That's a really good take. Got him looking. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Next to hit, Harrison Bader. Next offering is down low, and it's 1-0. Oh. And the 1-0. Oh. Just missed. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at-bat strikeout. The wind to kick the 2-0. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. The Redbirds hitless so far in the game. 
And a 3 0 finds his own. And foul ball. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. And now it's Yvonne Herrera. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat getting that first hit at the big league level. there and it's on one the cards yet to pick up a hit here Pavetta with a move no, to first in back in there standing and a pitch that one clips the outside corner and it's 0-2. And, and he'll 2. Popped up. Story on his way over. Nice grab on the run. Two down. Tommy Edmond at the plate. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Next offering is in for a strike. Next oh, one misses. Good. Two balls and a strike. Two and one now. The two on is high. Chris, with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Pitch. And now the count filled up three and two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. The Cardinals still looking for their first hit in this one. And down on strikes he goes. And that's the third out. So he's through six. No hit innings now. Eight, nine, one scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. And we still have no score. Bottom of the sixth inning. So stepping in for Boston, Jackie Bradley Jr. For the Red Sox, the center fielder, Jackie Bradley Jr. And he deals. Ball one, no strikes. The why to kick the pitch. And a pop-up. Right side. Foul territory. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Now batter. The first baseman. Bobby Dahlbeck. And here's the first baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. And a foul ball. Right hander kicks deals. Strike two. Real ugly 0 1 swing right there. As a pitcher, got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance. Send him back to the dugout. Kicks and fires. 
Oh, that's out. Got him looking. And a couple of quick outs. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. So the lineup flips over, and now the right fielder, Rob Ref Snyder. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two down, nobody on. There's a strike. The Red Sox hitless so far in the game. The one two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The punch out there and good work there as he gets a one two three Red Sox go down quietly and we are still scoreless back here at the ballpark top of inning number seven and stepping in for the Cardinals Brendan Donovan you know he's been so great today really just throwing whatever the catcher puts down I mean hasn't shaking off the catcher very much at all today first pitch doesn't find the zone ball one no strike they say it went strikeouts have been a big part of the success in not allowing a hit here comes a pitch swings and misses and that is strike two The one two wouldn't chase that time. Well, he's back out there to begin the seventh. That surprised you at all, Chris? Yeah, a little bit. It was a little rough the sixth inning there, but his skipper's got a lot of confidence in him. But trust me, they will keep a close eye on how he does in this one. Dahlbeck takes it himself, and the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Paul Goldschmidt next up for the Cardinals. He's a big, strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. First offering, misses the mark. The 1 0. Good eye right there. Now you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. The 2-0 is in for a strike. The Redbirds yet to pick up a hit here. Next one is off the plate. Now three and one. The wind in the pitch. And yeah, there's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Here's Nolan Arenado. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Runner. And there he goes. Fought off foul. And a pitch. Not close with that one, but he gets him to go after it. Pitch misses there. And the count one and two.
Next one is off the play. Two and two. 99 pitches about to throw his 100th here in the seventh inning. This is where you really start looking for any signs of fatigue. Fly ball down the line. Verdugo ranges to his right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. So two down now, and here is Tyler O'Neill. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. Now this one's crushed down the line. Hooking foul ball. Well, he got a first pitch breaking ball right there that he clearly liked the look of. Just needed to let it travel a little longer. Next offering is in for a strike. The Red Sox with some bullpen action. Number 60 getting ready to go. Number 49, the hard-throwing right-hander up as well. Two gone, the possible go-ahead run at first. And one and two. The pitch. That ball two. And that okay. one almost got him. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. The pitch. So now two on and two outs. Well, that could be a big walk in this ball game. Moves the go-ahead run into scoring position. So some pressure pitches coming up in this next A-B. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Dylan Carlson. Still no hits on the board. One out away from taking the no-no into the eight. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. The Cards still looking for their first hit in this one. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. A swing and a miss there. Fires to first. They miss a big chance to take the lead here late. So the cards strand a couple. Still no score. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now here is Rafael Devers. The third baseman. And the right hander back to work. And that drops in for a strike. Some guys are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0 1. And the 0 1. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Next offering is down low. Next one misses, and it's two and two. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. In there, base hit! And the bid for history is gone. 
Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. Now a huge... Arenado to second. How about that double play? A shortstop, Xander Bogart. It's Xander Bogart's now. Bogart's, who wears that number two on his back for his idol, Derek Jeter. And that's in there for strike one. Usually when a pitcher's had a dominant outing, he has filled up the strike zone and he's gotten ahead in the count with first pitch strikes. Well, that's exactly what this guy has done in this one. Over 70% first pitch strikes. Got him. Xander Bogart's all frustrated. So now a pinch hitter for the Cardinals, Edmundo Sosa. He represents the go-ahead run. The right-hander back to work. And there's the strike. Righty delivers. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. And here it comes. Went too far that time. It's one and two. And now it's even up. Here's a line drive, and that's going to end the no-hitter. It's a base hit. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Nick Pavetta done for the afternoon, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. New pitcher for the Red Sox, number 60. He's pitching on two days rest. Number 60, Tyler Hayden. Harrison Bader digs in now. That one's in there, 0-1. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. And a pitch. One and one. Just a slow ground ball this time. To second for one. To Dahlbeck, double play. Hey, they played the matchup right there. Worked out perfectly. Got the ground ball double play, and that changes the complexion of this inning entirely. Now the catcher up to hit, Ivan Herrera, looking for his first big league hit right here. No. First offering, and it just misses. The pitch. Missing inside. Two balls, no strikes. Movement in the bullpen. John Schreiber preparing to come on if needed. Winkowski warming up as well.
That misses the zone. Three balls, no strikes. There's a strike, three and one. And a 3-1 on the way. And fouled off. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Edmund in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Herrera leads off first with two down to the inning. This to center field. Bradley racing over to make the catch. So one left for the Cardinals. And we're still knotted at zero. Juan Yepes getting loose there. He's now in the game at first. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now it's going to be Alex Verdugo. Leading off for the Red Sox. The left fielder. The wind of the pitch. Going one. Action in the St. Louis bullpen. Nick Wickren up and loosening in the pen. Cabrera, a left-hander, also throwing. A one down. And a base hit into right. So a man on base to start the inning. Dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far. No runs across either. And he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. Manager out of the dugout now. And it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Jack Flaherty will depart. Only two hits allowed for him. So a great effort. And we'll be back after a quick break to tell you about the new arm. On the mound now, Nick Wickren. He's been so good against lefties. Making a move at first and on to run for the Red Sox, Jaron Duran. No outs, runner at first. Here's Trevor Story now. Pickoff throw. Duran dives back in safely. First pitch just misses. The go ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. Next offering upstairs. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you feel the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. Late with the swing there. Do that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. That one in for a strike, two and two. Nobody out, runner at first. him looking and one out now so here's Christian Vasquez 
Well, with pretty good speed over there at first base, I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down, hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Kicks and deals. There's a strike. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. The pitch. One away, tie game. Go ahead, run stands at first. That one the other way. Base hit into the outfield. So the go ahead run is on base with a knock. The throw is wild and it gets away. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And a huge opportunity now to grab the lead at this point in the game. Jackie Bradley Jr. a chance to hit. First pitch, and he just misses. You know, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. Hit on the ground, might be two. To second, there's one. Over to first, safe. Well, that's great hustle out of the box to get down the line, knowing that a double play will end the inning. Good job at the finish, reaching out for the bag. Now they got runners on the corners and still an opportunity to pick up some runs. At the play, Bobby Dahlbeck, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. He's home fans. They are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. Corners are occupied with two down. Strike out there. He's in a tough spot. Had to make a great pitch. Did it. Got the strikeout. Gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Jaron Duran. He's out in left field getting loose there as he enters the game on defense now. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Now the number two hitter, Brendan Donovan. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. There's the strike. Left-hand hitter waits. On the ground to first. Dahlbeck takes it to the bag. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. And next is the designated hitter, Paul Goldschmidt. Well, he's always a threat. Even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts, he can come up that fourth time and do damage because he's that good. Goldie swings and hammers one deep to left. And that one is off the wall. Absolutely hammered that baseball very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity. And at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. And next is the Cardinals four hitter, Nolan Arenado. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And 
the righty deals. And another ball. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, you're going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. And a pitch. First offering. Runner goes. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Bradley pulls that one down. Two way down. Up next to the Cardinals. The left field. Tyler. So digging in, Tyler O'Neill. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. And a foul ball. Goldie, the runner at first with two gone. Next offering is foul back. Tough to take a two strike changeup that just missed. I think it froze him. And a one two. Stays alive. He's mixing his pitches really well late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. Two outs. Misses. Two and two. Next pitch is outside, and it's three and two. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. And a swing and a miss. That's the third out. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Back here at Fenway, now it's the right fielder, Rob Ref Snyder. Leading off for the Red Sox, the right fielder, Rob. Whitgren back to work. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Bullpen activity starting up now. Ryan Helsley, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. And now the 0 1 to the left side, but it is well fouled. And the right hater deals. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Rafael Devers up to hit. Hot shot to third. And Devers is set down. Here is J.D. Martinez. Next pitch downstairs. Ball one. All tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. There's the strike. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss. 
as he was out front that time. Got him looking. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Nine isn't enough to decide a winner. So we are off to extra innings. And we still have no score. Back here in Boston, digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Dylan Carlson. Here comes a pitch. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Activity in the bullpen. John Schreiber, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Winkowski getting loose as well. And a base hit on the line. O'Neill flies around third. He'll score and the Cardinals have the lead. 1-0. Pulls into second. That's an RBI double. Well done. Drives in the run. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Juan Yepes now at the plate. In there, and it's 0-1. 0-1. The 0 1. On the ground to Devers. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Well, that's a pick you want to come up with as a first baseman. That's how you win that gold ball. But it's never on him to take the error on a throw like that. And he'll probably tell you he should have picked his teammate up, but he gave it a good effort, just couldn't get it to stick. And here is Harrison Bader. Foul ball. Now the one. Ground ball could be two. Story toss to second to Dahlbeck. Double play. That was a much needed double play right there. It gives him a really good shot at minimizing any further damage in this inning. And up next for St. Louis, Ivan Herrera. Trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. Well, bottom of the order here, Boog. you got to go right after this guy. As they look to pick up an add-on run. And the number nine guy at the plate. Slapped foul. pitch that one misses and the count is one and one Carlson at third with two away going to count one and two Swing get a ball popped up. And that one actually would be grabbed by Story. And that is that. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now a 1-0 ball game. New arm on the mound for the Cardinals. Ryan Helsley trying to protect this lead.
Back here in Fenway. We're in extras here. Now here's Xander Bogarts now. Man at second, nobody out. Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. Movement in the bullpen for the Cardinals. Henesis Cabrera getting loose out there. So now with one swing, this guy could end it. And it's second. Got him! And now one away. Well, I definitely say that's a statement strikeout right there. You come out of the bullpen, go right after the hitters, and three pitches later, you got one out. Tell you what, if you're in the dugout, you're looking at each other and saying, he's going to be tough to get to today. Now batting Jaron Duran. Oh, they're applying pressure, quality at bats, quality swings right now, and see this offense doing it, one man to the next, showing a lot of fight right now, and they're making it difficult for the back end of this bullpen to close out this game. One away, the winning run at second. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Red Sox with a chance to tie it up. Check swing. He went. And the count, one and two. Here's a one-two. And that skips in the dirt. Runner leads away at second. That's down and in. Runner at second here, one gone. Next offering is foul back. looking down on strikes and he knew it well even if you don't feel great about it you got to swing the bat with two strikes in this situation you've got the tying run out there in scoring position just put the ball in play maybe something good will happen it just didn't look like he understood the situation Trevor Story up next for the Red Sox and that's in there for strike one The 01. Swing and a miss as he was late. Is just one strike away. And ball one. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. The one two. Ball two. That one missed. Man on second, two down. And a swing and a miss. And that ends the ball game. The tying run left stranded at second. Well, this one was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters. Trust.
the wind of the pitch. That's in there. So we're underway with some Father's Day baseball. Next one off the plate inside. And that's ball one. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Now this is in the air down the line. Verdugo raging back towards the wall. Puts it away for the out. Now we take a check of the St. Louis Cardinals lineup. This is an offense, Chris, that's having a hard time scoring runs right now. Yeah, sometimes things just aren't going to click. And unfortunately, what happens is guys press, they try to do a little bit more, and they get out of their game. You've got to let the game come to you. If you chase it, it's going to run from you. So this is a team that just needs to calm down, relax, and understand that they're going to come out of this. No score just getting started, top of the first. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Pitch misses inside, and it's one and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The wide to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the second out. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball on the outer black. Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. So now here's the Cardinals designated hitter, Paul Goldschmidt. Put that 600 slugging into context. The league average usually in the low 400s. Strike two. Well, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Going two now. Swing and a slow roller. Devers throws on to first, and they get Goldschmidt for the out. And that is that. Now the Red Sox will get their shot. No score. Bottom of the first. And today's starting pitcher, Jack Flaherty. And Chris, pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Yeah, and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road. Sometimes, you know, it's just a matter of luck. It's not having a feel. Difference between the bullpen mound to the mound out there on the playing field. Don't know what it is, but I know this. He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. And he deals. That's towards center. Bader on the move. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. Time now to check out the lineup for the Boston Red Sox. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Rafael Devers. Took a pretty big step last year. Silver Slugger Award in the American League. And now you're on the radar. Everyone knows it. Your teammates know it. They expect a lot from you because of that success. And so there are going to be times or you're going to have to put the team on your shoulders, and I know he's more than capable of doing that. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. That one ran inside, almost got him. One down, base is empty. And Devers hits that one. O'Neal under it. Two down. Batting through. 
the designated hitter, J.D. And here is J.D. Martinez. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. In there for strike one. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Swing and a ball hammered left field, and that one's gone. J.D. Martinez takes in D, and it gives him the lead in the first. It's 1-0. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Here's Xander Bogarts. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. First pitch, not close. Line drive, base hit, right center field. Around first and hustling for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Back-to-back -back base hits. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. Man in scoring position with two away. Here's Alex Verdugo. The left fielder. Alex Verdugo. And that one wrapped foul. Bogarts at second with two down. Next pitch misses inside, and it's a ball and a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he's realizing out there on the mound that he's got to settle in pretty quickly or else he's going to get hit hard in this first inning. Ground ball to the middle. That's a base hit. Here comes Bogarts around third. Play it home. He's safe. It's 2-0. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. So, man aboard. Here's Trevor Story. That is it. The second baseman. Right. That one's in there on one. Here's the 0-2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Righty to the plate. Stays alive. The 0-2. Upstairs. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Red Sox already leading.
Up the middle, lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He doesn't have a play, and they don't get an out on the play. So first and second with two outs. Christian Vasquez getting ready to hit. Next offering is down low. One and oh. First and second, two down. Next pitch inside, and it's two and one. Kicks and fires. Just missed. I got three and one. Three balls, one strike. Two on, two outs. Swing and a miss, and that is that. On to the second from Fenway Park. It's the Red Sox two, and the Cardinals nothing. And we're back here at Fenway Park. Second inning set to go. Now up the Cardinals' number four hitter, Nolan Arenado. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any ball. hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the ball bats one, back no up there fight. while they're hot. Right-hander kicks, deals. And now ball two and nothing. 2-0 count. You really don't want to give in here. You've got to work the edges, really execute a pitch. Hopefully you can get back into this count. Kicks and deals. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Three oh down. Bounce to third. And it's through for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Here's Tyler O'Neill. And first offering is fouled off. Runner at first with no outs here. And it's fouled away. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Tying run at the plate. And a swing and a miss. One out in the second. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. This is Dylan Carlson. He swings and fouls one off. And a pitch. Inside corner for a strike. 0-2 oh, now. Gary Simmons has the plate duty in this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone, Boog. It kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone and then can be tighter in others. 
But I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent. So you got to stay ready up there. Bogarts handles the chance. Off balance feed. There's one. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. And now it's Albert Pujols' turn to hit. And first offering is fouled off. And here it comes. Here goes the runner. Go to second. Ow! And that'll end the inning. Well, trying to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Back inside Fenway Park. Bottom half of inning number two. And stepping in for Boston, Jackie Bradley Jr. Jackie Bradley the right-hander back to work. That's a ball. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. Next pitch is outside. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Bradley waits. Stays alive. Swing and a bouncer. Pujols picks it up and he handles it himself for the out. Here's Bobby Dahlbeck. there and it's on one swings through that and it's a strikeout that's out number two I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with the high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Back to the top of the lineup, Rob Ref Snyder will hit next. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. The 0 1. And that one fouled off. The 0 2. Right side. And it goes just foul. The next offering misses. Now one and two. The wind and the pitch. To third. Slings it across. Inning over. 
Red Sox go down one, two, three, but they're on top two nothing. On to the third inning. Here's the veteran first baseman, Albert Pujols. The first baseman, number five, Albert The pitch. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. pitch and now the count is even next pitch misses full count now the three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four what a battle it's not always easy laying off a three two pitch and I tell you what he earned that walk and now Bader up to the plate. First offering misses badly for ball one. Pujols gets his lead at first with nobody out. Out to short. Sneaks through. Base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. And now it's Yvonne Herrera. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Oh, and one now. And that's down and away. One and one. First and second here, no outs. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. One out. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. Tommy Edmond at the plate. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. And first offering is fouled off. Left-hand batter waits. Down and in, moved his feet. Righty delivers. That misses the zone, and it's two and one. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. One out, runners at first and second. Meanwhile, this pitch gets away.
And he deals. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Payoff pitch. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. And first offering is fouled off. Base is loaded. One away. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Verdugo pulls it down. Runner tags for home. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. So the cards strand a couple. They're still down. It's 2 zip. Step for the bottom of the third. Here's Rafael Devers. When he steps into the batter's box, the comfort level looks so high. It doesn't matter what kind of delivery that pitcher has, what kind of velocity, what kind of secondary stuff. He is so settled in there. He owns the home plate area. First offering, and it just misses. The wind of the pitch. And downstairs. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. Up the middle. Gathers and throws to first. Barely got him for the out close play. And Martinez. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. First offering misses the mark. Ball one, no strike. And a pitch. Ball two. That There's one misses. Three. three and oh. Here's a 3-0. Foul ball there. Three and one, Martinez waits. And it's filled up. And that's ball four. Take your base. No Run around at first with no one gone. gone. And here comes Xander Bogarts. When you look at Xander, he has all the tools to anchor a World Series lineup. Yeah, he's one of those rare talents. He's got power at the plate, discipline to go along with it. Oh, and if he gets on, he's got the speed. This guy's a great combo, and he's an RBI machine. First pitch just misses. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. And the 1 0. That's ball two. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Oh. 
And it is two and one. One strike. And a pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. And it falls. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there, and he found a way. Now here is Alex Verdugo. Martinez, the lead runner at second. Bogarts at first, one gone. The next pitch misses. One ball, one strike. And the right hander deals. Swung on, belted. That one's carrying. Banks off the wall. They extend their lead as the runner scores from second. And they're up by three. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Showed off some really nice oppo pop with that swing and just couldn't get it over the fence. But I absolutely love everything about that approach and the mechanics right there. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. The batter, number 10, second baseman. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Second and third here, one away. Next offering is in for a strike. Action in the pen down there. Zach Thompson, the rookie left-hander, appears to be getting going. Two on, one out. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Next offering is foul back. One down, runners at second and third. Next pitch just misses, and that's ball one. Righty to the plate, and a swing and a miss. Now two out. Here's Christian Vasquez. Hey, it's still early in this ball game, but you know this at bat right here could be a big factor in the outcome. You think about it. There's a chance to really blow this thing open right here. In there for strike one. Big moment in this game. Two outs, two runners in scoring position, and could really break this thing wide open early. This one in the dirt. The pitch. Misses outside. Two and one. The two one. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Right through there. Got him. Good job of damage control right there. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. It's now 3-0. As we go to the top of the fourth. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. Anything in particular stand out to you as far as moments at Fenway Park? 
Wow. You know, it's unfortunate because I remember as an Oakland A's player, we were up in the series against the Red Sox, two games to none. All we needed to do was close out a Saturday night ball game. We went extra innings. The Red Sox won that ball game. And then Sunday, they pushed the series by winning game four back to Oakland for game five. And unfortunately, they won game five as well. And a pitch. There's a strike. That was 2003, and the Red Sox would eventually get their hearts broken by Aaron Boone, but end the curse a year later. Next offering way off the plate. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff walk. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. All that high four-seam fastball has become such a great pitch for pitchers to finish hitters off. They're trying to stay back with two strikes, make sure that they can handle something off speed, and just with good spin rate, good rotation through the zone, elevate it a little bit, get a lot of swings and misses, and that's a really nice job right there. Arenado stands in now and watches strike one. The 0 1. Ball one there. Next offering is in for a strike. Base hit, center field. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Tyler O'Neill. Next up for the Cardinals. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Not a swing you want to watch again. Next one misses, and a count one and two. Kicks and fires. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's back there. Bangs off the wall. Ball comes home and he's dead at the plate. Well, this just can't happen right there. You can't try to score from first base with less than two outs unless you can pretty much walk across the ditch. And to get thrown out like that really throws water on the fire of a rally in this inning. And now the right fielder, Dylan Carlson. Popped up first base side. Story under this one. And he makes the catch. And the inning is over. The cards leave one. They trail in this one, three nothing. Back here at Fenway Park, ready to go, bottom four. And now the center fielder, Jackie Bradley Jr. Oh, this guy's just a tremendously talented center fielder. Gold glove caliber type out there. Offensively, he can do some things, but you know, also has some streakiness as well. I think the key is just trying to find a way for him to be consistent day in and day out. You know, he saves runs in the outfield, so that's going to buy him more time to work things out at the dish. The pitch. Strike two. Really consistent release point. He's been able to pitch up and down and have excellent command at both locations. Oh, 
0-2 now. Yep. And there's a ball. And now it's one and two. And a ball okay. evens the count. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And that's the first out. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. I mean, with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate. So very difficult to get the barrel on it. Dahlbeck, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. The wind of the pitch. Good yep. eye right there. So, Boog, you went to college in this town. What was it like for you being a college student and having the opportunity to bounce over here to Fenway Park and see some games? Yeah, in fact, 1990, a couple of college classmates and I, we were in college. We bought standing room tickets, and then the next night got a chance to see the Red Sox clinch the East against the White Sox in that sliding catch in the corner by Tom Brodansky. The Red Sox would end up losing to the Oakland A's in the playoffs, but that's one of the things that I'll think about in terms of memories from going to college and going to Fenway. The why to kick the pitch. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. That's his second strikeout. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Rob Ref Snyder. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next offering is foul back. Next offering is in for a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Right-hander kicks deals. Oh, that ball drilled back up the box and nailed the pitcher. And no chance for him to make the play. Let's just hope he's all right. Up next for the Red Sox, the third baseman, Raphael. Devers. Man aboard, and here is Devers. Nope. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Counts one and oh. Left hand hitter waits. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Ball. And that's downstairs and outside. Got two balls, one strike. Ref Snyder off of first with two away. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck right field. That's back there. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. In to score from first, and it's 4-0. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. So two down, and now J.D. Martinez. 
In the air, right field. Carlson makes the catch, and that'll do it. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. On to the top of the fifth we go. The Red Sox four and the Cardinals nothing. We go to the top of the fifth, and now the first baseman, Albert Pujols. The Cardinals in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Pavetta back to work. And ball one. The wind and the pitch. Ball. This one in the air center field. Bradley on the move as he glides back. Makes the grab one away. Now batting the center fielder, Harrison Bader. Harrison Bader next up for the Cardinals. And that one in the air center field. And puts the squeeze on that. Two up, two down. Now batting the catcher, Yvonne Herrera. And now the catcher comes up to him. Yvonne Herrera looking for his first big league hit right here. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat, getting that first hit at the big league level. The other way, makes the catch, inning over. One, two, three, go to Cardinals. They're down 4 nothing. New pitcher for the Cardinals, Zach Thompson. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he made a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Shortstop, Xander Bogart. The pitch. Next offering popped in the air. Right field. Drops into the glove. And there's one down. The left fielder, number 99. Alex. Here's the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And here it comes. And it's even up. That misses, and it's two and one. Next offering misses, and the count is three and one. The pitch. We got a full count. Three, two. Ground ball up the middle. Donovan gloves it. Throw save. And that was close. Here's Trevor Story now. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. The pitch. 
Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position and just one out. You got to get on your horse and get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. So one out with two aboard. And next for the Red Sox, Christian Vasquez. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. Kicks and deals. Here's a strike. The next offering misses. And it's two and one. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. And a two one on the way. Pitch misses, and that's ball three. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. And Vasquez is gone. Both runners tagging. That's a sacrifice fly as he comes across. It's 5 nothing. Jackie Bradley Jr. a chance to hit. And first offering is fouled off. Left hand batter waits. Now wanted one. There's a one to one. And that one hit to first. And that's just foul. Rudder at third, two away. And that one gets away at the plate. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. We're through five. It's the Red Sox five and the Cardinals nothing. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And here's the St. Louis leadoff man, Tommy Edmond. Pavetta back to work. And that one fouled off. Next one is off the play at one and one. Next pitch misses. Now two balls and a strike. That one fouled off, two and two. And a pitch. Stays alive. That one lifted to left. And they get Edmund for the out. And there's one away. The batter. 
the second baseman, Brendan Donovan. Now up for St. Louis, Brendan Donovan. First offering, and it just misses. And the righty deals. There's a swing and a miss. Well, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected, and the hitters just don't seem to have the right game plan. They're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. Next offering is fouled back. And he deals. Now fly ball to right center. Ref Snyder makes his way towards it. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And there are two outs. Up next to the Cardinals, the designated hitter. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. Oh, Next pitch right. downstairs, and it's Ball one to no. And another ball. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2 0 count. He's got to execute here, or this could get ugly. The wind of the pitch. And that one hammered way back there. Into the monster seats and gone. Paul Goldschmidt goes deep. His 17th of the year. It's 5-1. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. So two away with nobody on. Here's Nolan Arenado. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. Right side, Ref Snyder sizes this one up. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a 5-1 ball game. Back in Boston, John Chomby with Chris Singleton in the booth and leading off the bottom of the sixth, Bobby Dahlbeck. The first baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. The pitch. And that one Count missing one low. Up. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Herrera puts it away, one away. The right fielder, number 30, Rob Ref Snyder. Now it's the right fielder, Rob Ref Snyder. In there, and it's own one. Swing and a line drive caught. Now batted, third baseman, Devers. Two outs, base is empty. Rafael Devers, the next to hit. High fly ball, right field. Carlson going back, back some more. Tracks it down for the out. And that is the third out of the inning. Nothing doing for Boston. 
They're up 5 1. Back here in Boston. New inning getting started. Here's a speed threat Tyler O'Neill. And the right hander back to work. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Woo. He was all over that first pitch fastball. Now just back. barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Carlson. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Dylan Carlson. And that's in there for strike one. Double barreled action in the bullpen. John Schreiber appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Winkowski getting cranked up as well. The next pitch misses. And the count even one and one. Fastball almost got him there. Next offering is foul back. And the pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And there's two away. You know, that curveball had some pretty good break to it. As you can see, the hitter just locked up a little bit. Thought it was a great pitch to hit, but sometimes you're looking for something else and you can't pull the trigger. Two outs, base is empty. And up next for St. Louis, Albert Pujols. First offering misses the mark. Aye. Next offering is in for a strike. I got one ball, one strike. Next one misses, and yeah, that's ball two. Next that's offering in the one. dirt, three and one. Righty delivers. And down on strikes. And that'll do it. Nothing doing there for St. Louis. They're down here five to one. Back here at the ballpark, here's JD Martinez. Leading off for the Red Sox. The designated hitter, JD Martinez. The pitch on the ground to third and Martinez oh. is out the batter number two shortstop Xander Bogart and here is Xander Bogart's in there for strike one some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher they don't care if they fall behind 0 one next ball offering one misses back. ball one meanwhile activity in the bullpen Henesis Cabrera the left-handed reliever appears to be getting loose Whitgren the right-hander also getting loose here comes a pitch that one hammered left field back there. Hits the top of the wall. 
He's in with a double, and that's his second double of the night. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap, and when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Now the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Bogarts, the runner at second with one away. This one kicks away from Herrera. Ball to strike. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Next pitch has popped up. Arenado racing over to make the catch. The batter, number 10, second baseman, Trevor Story. So stepping in for Boston, Trevor Story. In there, and it's 0-1. In the dirt, but kept close. Two outs. And a count, one and two. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next one just misses. It's two and two. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Here's a two-two. Just missing there. And that's ball three. So now three and two. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. And the Red Sox leave one. They leave this one, though, 5-1. Welcome back. And a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. John Schreiber. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Oh, he's having an excellent season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. Ready to begin the eighth. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Harrison Bader. The center fielder, Harrison Bader. And a pitch. Ground ball to the right side. Steps on first for the out. And here's the catcher, Ivan Herrera. And that's in there for strike one. Bullpen activity starting up now. Hirokazu Sawamura appears to be getting loose.
That's the third. Devers. Tosses to first. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Now Tommy Edmond next up for the Cardinals. This guy has turned into a beast. Hey. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And the 0 1. And there's a foul ball. At the belt and fires. That one misses. And a count one and two. One ball, two strikes, the count. Next one is off the plate. And the count is even two and two. And there's a fly ball deep right field. That's back there. That's going. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. He powers one out to right field. It's his eighth home run of the year. It's 5-2. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. Now at the plate, Brendan Donovan. Now batting the second baseman, Brendan Donovan. Next Ball offering one. is down low. Ball one. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. Next pitch misses outside. Two and oh. Two oh. Hey. Good eye right there. Righty to the plate. In the air, right side. Ref Snyder moving back for this one. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. But not before they answer back with a solo home run. It's now 5-2. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Nick Whitgrid. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Bottom of the eighth. And now it's the catcher for the Red Sox, Christian Vasquez. Leading off for the Red Sox, the catcher, Christian Vasquez. And a pitch. And that's through there for a strike. And the right hander deals. Swing and a miss. Going two. Clearly all in on the fastball right there, but it was a changeup. Bottom just fell out of it. He's going to have to make an adjustment. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And a quick out number one. Third time he struck out in this one. And definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, 
at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Jackie Bradley Jr. up next for the Red Sox. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Here's your one. That one fouled off. And the 2 Started to go after it. Now a look down to third, and he held up. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one, getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. These aren't fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. And stepping in for Boston, Bobby Dahlbeck. In there, and it's 0-1. Oh, one's the count. Oh, one 1 down. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just going to have to... Ah, that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Jake Diekman gets the ball now. He has a great slider with tons of movement. And a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. Next offering is in for a strike. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing, took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work, shorten up that swing a little bit, do whatever it takes to get on base. The 1-1 one -one is cut on and missed to the pitch upstairs and now it's even up on the ground to third Devers on to first and they get the leadoff man in the ninth Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. Here's Nolan Arenado. And fouled off. Next offering down in the dirt. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. Oh! 
Nolan Arenado goes deep. His 14th of the year. And they're chipping away. It's 5-3. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. He's two outs away. Tyler O'Neill. Next up for the Cardinals. And the first pitch misses for ball one. This is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game. But they're going to make him work to get this save. The lefty the 1 0. Swings here and blasts one left field. That one carrying on the warning track and hauls it in. Well, off the bat, I thought for sure it had enough to get out of here, but that wind's kind of blowing in from left, and I think that's what made the difference. Two outs, base is empty. Now up for St. Louis, Dylan Carlson. In there for strike one. Yeah, the lefty with the 0-1. Not close with that one. And it's one and one. The 1-1. One -one. In the air, out towards right center. Ref Snyder settles under this one. And that is the ball game. Another day, another win. I really think these guys have forgotten how to lose a ball game. It's been so long since they've lost. I really don't know what else to say. They're just a can't-miss ball club right now. A 5-3 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. St. Louis, three runs on seven hits, no errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 57 minutes. Our Fenway Park paid attendance this afternoon, 37,755. We'd like to thank the Red Sox Nation for their continuing support and remind you to please drive home safely.
from Vince Scully Avenue, welcome to Dodger Stadium. We've got Father's Day baseball. It's the Cleveland Guardians taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go now. And our pitcher in this game, Andrew Heaney. And Singy, he likes pitching at home. Well, truly for him, there is no place like home. He's been so dominant here. And as a teammate, you expect him when pitching at home this year to go out and dominate just as he has. The fans expect it. And I think everyone around here knows that he's a good pitcher. Even though we don't see the same splits on the road, we're going to start to see that translate as well. Miles Straw in the box here lets that one go for a ball. First pitch, 111. Oh. Next pitch misses, and it's 2 0. Oh. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. The 2 0 -oh is in for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 0 -oh changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. That one off the bad part of the bat, just a lazy fly ball. Alvarez racing over to make the catch. Here's the Guardians lineup now. Singy, we're looking at a really young lineup here, so not much experience, but it also means they're going to bring a lot of energy to the table most days. Well, we're in a golden age of young players. I mean, these players, they're getting up to the majors. They're dominating from a young age bringing home plenty of hardware early in their careers. I mean, before they even get to free agency. So, you know, when you consider all of that, I love seeing the kind of energy that a team like this brings to the yard every day, day in and day out. No score just getting started. Top of the first. Going two now. Bounce to the right. Grabs it barehanded, and they get the out. Owen Miller digs in for the Guardians. Miller having a lot more success on the road this season. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 and 2 now. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. That's next one misses, 1 and 2 to count. 0-2 oh, count, you got the opportunity to expand the zone. Could get the chase there. Let's see what he comes back with next. The wind of the pitch. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. He sends it out of here. And they grab the lead. It's 1-0. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Base is empty with two away. Next is the designated hitter, Oscar Gonzalez. First pitch, and he just misses. Next offering is downstairs. 2 0 count to a guy like this at the plate. You've got to throw a pitcher's pitch. Don't just try to get a strike. He could make you pay. Two down, nobody on. 
That's a strike across the top of the zone. Up the middle, Turner handles the chance, gets it to first, and that is that. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's now 1-0. We go to the bottom of the first, and today's starting pitcher, Shane Bieber. Well, he brings into this one an excellent strikeout-to-walk ratio on the season, and when you consider the amount of swings and misses that he gets and the fact that he's not issuing free passes, that's going to make him more economical in his pitch count, allow him to move into the middle and deeper part of ball games. So we'll see if that remains true in this one. Bottom of the first, here's Trey Turner. First pitch, just misses. The 1-0. Ball, that's up there. Bounced up the middle. Sneaks through, base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Pitch misses there and now 2-0. and oh. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well if nothing else I mean this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. And now 2-1. As a hitter, you got to learn something from that pitch. He clearly wasn't timed up on the fastball. In a 2-0 count, you have to be ready to do damage. Left-hand batter waits. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. Turner on at first. Nobody out. Back to the mound. Touches the back for one. And that's two. So singing a close play at first, worthy of another look with Statcast. That was an absolute heater, and you just don't see that type of velocity coming across the diamond every day. Only the best infield arms in baseball reach 90 miles per hour, and he needed all of it to get that out. Bang, bang, play. The batter now will be Will Smith. And that's in there for strike one. Next pitch off the play. And it's a ball to strike. Next one misses. And that's ball two. Rolled over to third, and that's a base hit. And now a two-out opportunity for Max Muncy. Throwback in holds him at first, so just a single. And at first, Max Muncy now at the plate. Pitch misses inside, 1-0.
kicks and fires. Two Whoa, balls, no right strikes down. the count. The pitch. Hey. The count is two and one. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Well, pretty clear to me, he was trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. 2-2. Two -two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Well, the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball. If you're a pitcher, if you can get that fastball in on the hand, it's going to be very difficult for that hitter to get the barrel to it. That one to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. On to the second now from Dodger Stadium. It's the Guardians one, and the Dodgers nothing. Back here at Dodger Stadium. All set for the start of the inning. So in now for Cleveland, Josh Naylor. Josh Naylor. And he deals. That misses oh, off the right. outside edge. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Bellinger makes the play. One up, one down. The left fielder, Oscar Mercado. Now it's Oscar Mercado and Cleveland on top one zip. And first offering is fouled off. The wind and the pitch. And that's down and away. Joe McDonald doing the home plate duties here. Well, Joe's an interesting one. I'm always trying to figure out what exactly his zone is. It feels like it kind of moves around from game to game, sometimes inning to inning. Next pitch has popped up. Turner moving under this one. And there's two down. That is seven. The second baseman, Andres. Jimenez. Two outs, space is empty. Here's Andres Jimenez. And a foul ball. That one the other way. Turner to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. Guardians go down one, two, three, but they're on top, one nothing. Bottom of the second, Chris Taylor now. Leading off for the Dodgers, the left fielder, Chris Taylor. The right hander back to work. Late on that fastball. Well, he just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Kicks and deals. Two, two, down. That one to first. And he takes it himself for the out. 
One down, there comes Cody Bellinger. First offering, and it just misses. On the ground. Throws to first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Here's Turner now. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Strike two. Up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. Two out base hit keeps the inning alive. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Two outs, runner at first. Now it's going to be Eddie Alvarez. Check swing, but it went too far. Strike one. And the pitch. That's a ball. Turner leads off first with two down to the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. It's amazing to look up and see 88 miles per hour on that changeup. Back in the day, that was a pretty good fastball. But with high velocities these days, that speed differential is right where it needs to be. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and that is that. So the Dodgers leave one, still behind by a count of one to nothing. Back here in L.A., now the third baseman, Ernie Clement. For the, the third baseman, Ernie Clement. Heaney back to work. Foul ball. The next offering misses. And the count is one and one. One and one. Well struck left field. That's back there. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Throw and it gets away. Austin Hedges stands in. That hits the dirt, and that is ball one. Runner at second, nobody out. There's a strike. One and one. Cleveland up a run, looking for more. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Next pitch is in the dirt, and the count's even at two. Man at second. Stays alive. 
No outs. Runner on second. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Two two now. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field. Pretty well struck. Pulls it in on the warning track. Runner tags at second, and he's in safely at third with one out. Here's the center fielder, Miles Straw. 0 for 1 with a fly out. And first offering is fouled off. One away with a runner at third. Look out! And it hit him. One down. Ahmed Rosario digs in for the Guardians. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, in this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the count so that you can dictate the rest of the at-bat. Nice job right there. Nope. Text offering upstairs. In this situation, he's trying to get you to pop something up or jam you. That's a really good take, knowing you've got an opportunity to drive in a run here. High in the air, out to right. Alvarez gets under it. Makes the catch. Runner tags from third. Safe. He beats the tag. And they lead by two. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner at third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. Man at first. And now Owen Miller. Check on the runner, and he's back in there. In there for strike one. Well, in an 0-0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. Two outs. Hey. Top of the zone for a called strike. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Good job of damage control right there. So one run on one hit. No errors and a runner left. We head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Guardians two and the Dodgers nothing. Bottom of the inning, and now it's Gavin Lux. Leading up for the Dodgers, the second baseman, Gavin Lux. The wide to kick the pitch. Good eye right there. And that's outside. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. off the plate that time. Mm -hmm. 
That one misses. So a leadoff walk. That's a nice at bat and a great take on 3-2. Probably could have gone either way in that spot around the knees. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Trey Turner getting ready to hit. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Here comes a pinch. And there's a strike. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. That one ripped. Straw makes the grab, and there's one down. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there, nothing to show for it, but in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. And that's in there for strike one. And the righty deals. Strike two. Lux leads off first with one away. Line drive, makes the grab for the second out. Now that the catcher, Will. And up to the plate is Will Smith. One for one with a single so far. That one's in there, 0-1. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Beaver checks the runner. Lux back in on a dive. And a pitch. Nope. Ooh. Ball one. One out. The 1-1. One, one. Got him. That ends the inning. One left for L.A., and they're down 2-0. Out of the fourth, now it's the DH, Oscar Gonzalez. For the Guardian, the designated hitter, Oscar The wind of the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Bellinger drifts towards it. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. One down. Now batting the right fielder, Josh Naylor. Here's Josh Naylor. Flied out to center in his first at bat. Has some trouble with it. Freeman over to first in time. Pitcher gets to the bag for the out. Up next to Cleveland, the left fielder, Oscar Mercado. And up next for Cleveland, Oscar Mercado. 0 for 1 so far.
First one. offering misses the mark. And that chance handled. Over to first. Oh. Out number three. The Guardians go down in order, but they hold the 2 0 lead. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Bottom four, Max Muncie at the dish. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Righty to the plate. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. That one is absolutely belted. This one is crushed. And it's gone! Max Muncy leaves the yard. Home run number five on the season. It's 2-1. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Chris Taylor steps to the plate for the Dodgers. The left field, number three. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Righty delivers. That pitch gets the corner and the count one and one. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. And one and two. I got the count one and two. Next offering is in the dirt. They tried to get him to go, chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. And now two and two. He swings and fouls one off. That one the other way. Calls it in, and there's one away. The center fielder, number 35, Cody Bellinger. Bellinger up to hit. Yeah. In there for strike one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Next offering is down low. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss. One and two. So far, all we've seen in this at bat are fastballs. Look for him to slow it down right here ahead in the count. Next pitch nope, inside. inside two balls, two strikes. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Left-hand hitter waits. The punch out there. Now two away. Not a very good curveball right there, but sometimes those high breaking balls kind of surprise you as a hitter, and when they stay high, have just a little more velo on them to get by you. And that two-strike count, I thought it was a pretty good pitch to hit. I think he got a little too excited and tried to do too much. Now Justin Turner gets a chance to hit, and he's already singled in this game. 
First pitch just misses. And here it comes. Hey. One and one. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. Swings and misses. That's out number three. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. And the home team down a run. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's the second baseman, Andres Jimenez. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. First offering, and it just misses. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, it was bumpy in the early going for the lefty, but he settled into a really nice groove. Next nope, pitch is downstairs. Popped in the air, left field, Taylor under it, and there's one away. Now that third baseman, Ernie Clement. Here's the third baseman, Ernie Clement. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Racing makes the catch. That's out number two. The catcher, number 17, Austin. Austin Hedges now. And Chris, his big strength is defense. But it is interesting. In today's world of baseball, compared to when you played, a good defensive catcher is considered differently. Whatever you get offensively is a bonus, but he's got to put the fingers down. He's got to present pitches to the umpire. They're going to help his pitcher get more strikes. The next pitch misses. Now 2-0. I think the other component is putting down the finger that the pitcher wants to throw and being on the same page, and that's something that this guy does really well, gets in sync with his pitchers. The wind to kick the 2 0. That's a strike, and it's 2 and 1. Boog, his preparation is off the charts. I was down in the clubhouse today trying to find him just to pick his brain a little bit. He's so buried in that video room, it's hard to get a chance to talk to him. The wind of the pitch stays alive. And now the lefty, good eye in that spot. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. And the batter now, Miles Straw. He's 0 for 1. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. 
to first. That ends the frame. Guardians lead one, but they still lead it two to one. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Eddie Alvarez. The right fielder. And the right hitter back to work. Alvarez. That one missed. Check swing. He held up. Two and oh. And a pitch. And there's the strike. Two one. Next ball offering three. misses. And that's ball three. Three and one. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. Spin rate's outstanding on that high fastball. Really tough to hit. And he walked him. No outs. Runner at first. Gavin Lux steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And that's in there for strike one. Next offering is way upstairs. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. The one, two. All do. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Two, two down. Got him. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Well, big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound, no question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. So the batting order turns over. Digging in, Trey Turner. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Straw makes the catch. Out number two. The first baseman, number five, Freddie Freeman. And here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Next pitch downstairs, and that's ball one. One and zero to Freddie Freeman. Now a screamer into the outfield. Straw makes the catch, and that'll do it. So the Dodgers leave one, and they trail it here, two to one. Back here at the ballpark, top six. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. For the Guardians, the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. The pitch. Hit on the ground to the right side. It's in and out of his glove. No, oh, he's safe. Next is the speedy first baseman, Owen Miller. He had a big swing for these guys way back in the first inning. Yeah, Boog, he didn't waste any time in this one. The solo shot really got his team going, and he's looking for more right here.
In there, and it's 0-1. The Dodgers oh, bullpen yeah. with some action. Yancy Almonte up and throwing. Number 64 warming up as well. The pitch. Aye. That's in there. Two strikes to a guy who's already 0 for 1 with the punch out. The only guy in the lineup with that strikeout. But you can't get too relaxed. You still got to make good pitches to get him out. Kicks and deals. Double play ball to second. And that one handled. Fires over to first. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Now the four-hole hitter for the Guardians, Oscar Gonzalez. Hey. That one's in there, 0 and 1. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. The pitch. And he gets that fastball by him upstairs. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. One run game, one out, one on. The 0-2. One ball, two strikes to count. In the air, center field. Bellinger settles underneath it. He's got it. And there's two down. And now it's Josh Naylor. Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. And now the one. That's to third. Turner collects it. And that is that. Part of the order. 3-4-5 coming up. It's the Guardians 2 and the Dodgers 1. Well, we go bottom six. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Will Smith. Leading up for the Dodgers, the catcher. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. Fought off foul. Right-hander kicks, deals. Strike two. If you're a guy that can only hit to one field, then you're really not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust. But because he's able to use the entire field, that's why he's so successful in these situations. Next pitch is outside. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough and played right into the hands of the pitcher. Stepping in the long ball threat. Max Muncy. One for two. Swung out. Belted. That's back. And it's gone. He's done it again. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And we're all square. It's 2-2. Two -two.
Well, he went up there 0-0 oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. And stepping in is the speedy Chris Taylor. The batter, the left fielder. In there for strike one. You'll want swing and a miss. That's strike two. Next one just misses. It's a ball and two strikes. And the next pitch is way outside. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Two out. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. And a foul ball. <laughs> Left hand batter waits. And that one wrapped foul. Oh, and two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And he'll two. Ball one there. One and two. And now two and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Two down, nobody on. Next offering is outside. And he's close as he's trying to get through six full innings right now. He's about to throw his 100th pitch. I'd be surprised if this isn't it for him. And he deals. Chop back up the middle. In plenty of time to first. And Bellinger is out out with room to spare and that's the inning that funky Muncie with the homer for LA and we're deadlocked now at two apiece Yancy Almonte gets the call from the pen hasn't pitched in a while he's had the last five days off Top of inning number seven, stepping up for the Guardians, Oscar Mercado. The left fielder, Oscar Mercado. The pitch. Out to short. Turner collects, throws across the diamond, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Now it's the second baseman, Andres Jimenez. Aye. And that's in there for strike one. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. One down, base is empty. Swings through that one. Got him looking. 
And two away now. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. He got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count just to pour it back. So in now for Cleveland, Ernie Clement. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. Next pitch misses, and that's ball one. Kicks and fires. Two balls, one strike. Stays alive. At the belt and fires. That one missing inside. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. And yeah, the right hander deals. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Strike in there. Throw to second. Out at second. That ends the inning. We'll try to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Back here at Dodger Stadium, Justin Turner now. Leading up for the Dodgers, the third baseman, Justin Turner. Bieber back to work. That one's in there. Strike one. Action in the pen down there. Angel De Los Santos getting ready to go. Castro getting loose as well. Next offering is down low. That's big right there, being able to check your swing. Think about the count swing. Instead of 0-2, he's sitting 1-1 against a really good arm. Next pitch misses way outside. Popped up. Miller puts the squeeze on that one, and there's one down. Now back, right fielder, Eddie Alvarez. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Eddie Alvarez. And first offering is fouled off. And the pitch. Foul ball there. Going two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. Righty delivers. Stays alive. Here comes a pitch. And a swing and a miss. And there's two away. 
The batter, the batter down. Lock. Gavin Lux. A strikeout Gavin. and a walk. First offering misses the mark. Counts one and zero. Next pitch is outside. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground, and he grabs it foul. The two one. This to third. Throw short hops him at first. Can't come up with it. He's safe. No batter number six. Well, I definitely think the speed down the line played a factor on that throw. He had more time than he thought, but as a fielder, the speed of the game and the speed of the runner sometimes can get in your head, and he just rushed it and failed to make a clean throw. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. That's it for Shane Bieber. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. So Cleveland brings on a new reliever, Aniel De Los Santos. He last pitched two days ago. Number 62, Aniel De Los Santos. Trey Turner with a chance now. Who's the first? Lux back on a dive. Ball and the one. first pitch misses for ball one. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Two gone. The possible go-ahead run at first. Swing at a high fly ball left field. Makes the grab, and that will end the inning. One left for L.A. Score remains 2-2. We go to the eighth, stepping up for the Guardians, Austin Hedges. The catcher, number 17, Austin. And a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss, and that's strike one. And a 1-1. One -one. And there's a ball. One strike. He deals that one off the mark, and it's three and two. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And here it comes, and a swing and a miss down on strikes. So Hedges is gone. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Straw stands in now, looks at that one inside.
Right. Next offering is in for a strike. One one. Softly hit to third. The throw to first. Oh. And that quickly, two away. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. And up next for Cleveland, Ahmed Rosario. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. First ball. pitch, just misses. Two down, nobody on. So two balls and no strikes. The 2-0 is in for a strike. The 2-1. Out in front and foul to the left side. And a pitch. Got him. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing for the Guardians there. Score remains deadlocked at 2-2. Back here in L.A., ready to go for the last half of the inning. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman. The wide to kick the pitch. And a strike. Movement in the bullpen. Sam Hentges, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Yo one. Oh, and the zone doesn't get the call. One and one. Swing and a miss. One and two. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Here's a one-two. In the air, left field. And makes the grab. And there's one away. Will Smith will hit next. He's a big, strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Count one and oh. Next Two offering oh. way off the plate. Well, you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. The wind of the pitch. That's bullshit. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. And yeah, the right-hander's 3-1. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. His ability to draw walks has been something... It's been part of his career since day one. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. Well, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. First offering misses the mark. One away, tie game. Go ahead, run, stands at first. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Here's a 1-1. One, one. And another ball. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at-bats. And the biggest one he's had so far, he doesn't look anxious at all. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. The pitch. Mm. Just misses there. 
And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Here comes a 3-2. And ball four to a board. Chris Taylor steps to the plate for the Dodgers. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at-bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Next offering is down low. Ball one. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. Two on, one out. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. One, one now. And that one is in for a strike. One and two now. And that's downstairs and outside. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. The next offer misses. And it's three and two. This one high in the air to left center. Straw gliding to his right. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there are two down. The center fielder, number 35. Here's Cody Bellinger. And there's no Bellinger. doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Smith at second. Muncie on at first with two down. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. And it's fouled away. pitch two balls two strikes the cow with two outs two on two outs and a swing and a miss and we stay tied as the inning ends well this guy competes hard we see the emotion there I love it great job of getting out of the jam Back here at Chavez Ravine, we go to the ninth. Here's a speed threat, Owen Miller. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. First pitch, and he just misses. And the 1-0. That one down the line. That's a fair ball, and it's getting into the corner. Just inside the line, and it's down for a knock. In safely with a leadoff double. Go-ahead runs in scoring position. Well, that was an important at-bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. A lot riding on this next at-bat now as they look to take the lead at a critical point in this one. 
And now, Oscar Gonzalez. Go ahead, run in scoring position. Nobody out. You know, Brug, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. Here's a two on. That one missed. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here with the middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. The pitch. And he walked him. Looks like we've got a substitution at first. Coming in as the pinch runner, Richie Palacios. So up next, Josh Naylor, known for his late inning heroics. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, he's already in some trouble and falling behind in the count makes it even worse then you've got to throw the ball over more of the plate and that's where they can really do damage against a guy like this throw on to Freeman they get him but it was pretty close stepping in Oscar Mercado well, first base open, really no reason to pitch to this hitter right here. Put him on, have the force at second first, perhaps getting any ending double play. Definitely a strikeout situation right here. Lots of ways for that go-ahead run to score if the ball's put in play. Second and third here, one away. Next offering is in for a strike. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Base hit, one run in already. Throw comes in and holds the runner at third. They're at the corners now with still only one away. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Runners on the corners with one gone. And stepping in is the speedy Andres Jimenez. First offering misses the mark. pitch lifted in the air out to left brings it in runner tagging from third he'll score the sack fly it's 4-2 well these guys understand how important each run is especially as you get closer to the end of the ball game nice job right there to get that runner in from third and add a little insurance down the third baseman Ernie Clement And the first pitch misses for ball one. Mercado, the runner at first with two gone. Next pitch is inside. Ball two. And he deals. Out there to center. Bellinger has a beat on it. He makes the grab, and that is that. Bottom part of the order, 7-8-9, two up in inning number nine. Guardians four, and the Dodgers two. Here comes Emmanuel Classe out of the bullpen. 
And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Oh, he's having an excellent season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. Leading up for the Dodgers, the third baseman, Justin Turner. And a pitch. Turner leading things off and takes a strike. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that one fouled off. Here's the 0-2. And he chases that one. And one gone. Well, I definitely say that's a statement strikeout right there. You come out of the bullpen, go right after the hitters, and three pitches later, you got one out. Tell you what, if you're in the dugout, you're looking at each other and saying, he's going to be tough to get to today. Eddie Alvarez, the next to hit. Here's a high chopper. Tosses to first. Just one out remaining for the Dodgers. The batter, number nine. Second baseman. Two outs, base is empty. Gavin Lux steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Now, Boog, this is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in and close out ball games for a win. Swings and misses. And a count one and one. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Another day, another win. I really think these guys have forgotten how to lose a ball game. It's been so long since they've lost. I really don't know what else to say. They're just a can't-miss ball club right now. And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Shambi saying so long. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game. First for the victorious Cleveland Guardians. Four runs on five hits, one error. They left five men on base. For the Dodgers, two runs on five hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game: two hours and 49 minutes. Our paid attendance this afternoon: a sellout. 56,000. The Dodgers thank you for attending today's game. And as you leave Dodger Stadium, we remind you to please drive home safely.
just about set to go. And pitching here today, Andrew Heaney. Chris, you don't have to dig too deep into the numbers to see how good he's been. Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled, batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. Freeman steps on the bag, one out in the top of the first. Here's the Guardians lineup now. Not a team that usually sees a lot of pitches or works a ton of walks, Chris. They take a more aggressive approach than some of the other teams in the league. They definitely have a few free swingers in this lineup. You know, guys who want to be on the attack, and that's great as long as you got pitches in the zone. But if the pitcher's able to expand the zone, it can be very difficult for an offense like this to get going. You've got to somehow draw some walks, put some runners on base so that when you do have those free swingers come up, you can cash in with some runs that are plated. Two outs, base is empty. Owen Miller digs in for the Guardians. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. And that one pulled foul. The 0-2. 0-2 curve right there. Hitter kind of expects that. And good job of just showing that confidence and trying to get back into this count. No score just getting started. Top of the first. The next pitch misses. Now 2-2. Two and two. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2-2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Slapped foul. The 2-2. Two -two. That's inside. And he hits a ground ball right side. And there's a hit. And that extends the inning. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Runner at first with two away. And here is Oscar Gonzalez. In there, and it's 0-1. Oh, one. Oh, Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. 0-2 now. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. One left for the Guardians. On to the bottom of the first. No score. of the first and today's starter Shane Bieber what should we keep an eye on here yeah and his whip tells you he's been pretty effective this year on the mound I mean opposing hitters having a hard time getting on base and then being able to really distract him and do damage in terms of getting around the base path so they're taking the mound this is a guy you want out there if you're his teammate and I expect him to be good in this one we go to the bottom of the first now it's the shortstop Trey Turner offering misses and it's one and one
Line drive, base hit. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center yep. fielder. Freddie Freeman takes one off the outside here. Want to know to Freddie Freeman. Oh, that's out. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. And the next pitch is way outside. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Kicks and deals. And there's nope. ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. The batter now will be Will Smith. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Turner on second. Freeman on at first with nobody out. Next one is off the plate. And now 2-0. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. Well, he's ready for that fastball right there. Really turned on it. Hit it hard at the distance. But just too much hook to it. So might want to make a little bit of an adjustment. Let it travel a little more and see if you can keep that thing fair. Swings and misses. It's two and two. Oh, now this one gets away at the plate. Well, obviously, that was nowhere near the strike zone by the time it got to the plate. And people at home watching are thinking, what's he swinging at? But I'll tell you, some of the break guys snap off these days is just devastating. It can be so tough to recognize where a pitch like that's going to end up. And now here is Max Muncy. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. Nope. First Ball offering one. misses the mark. Ball one, no strike. At the belt and fires. That ball two. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. Left-hand batter waits. And there's a foul ball. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Runners at first and second with one gone. Swings through that. Yeah, he can move the ball around, add and subtract, get some weak contact at times. So you don't worry as much about him in this situation. Very capable of getting a ground ball and getting out of this little jam. Next pitch is inside, and the count's full. Righty delivers. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. 
Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even though he strikes out, he saw a lot of pitches and he battled. And this is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count up as early as possible. So gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, it's a nice job right there. So first and second with two outs. Chris Taylor now. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And the right hander deals in there for a strike at the top of the zone. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Mercado moving under it. And that ends the inning. Dodgers return to weigh their first time around. Inning number two from L.A. coming up on the show. Nothing, nothing. And welcome back. Top of the second. Here's Josh Naylor. Heaney back to work. And a foul ball. Deal one. That one fouled off. And the 2 That one not close. And the count is one and two. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Bellinger has this one sized up. And there's one down. Batting six. The left fielder. Oscar Mercado. So in now for Cleveland. Oscar Mercado. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Counts one and oh. The one one. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. To the right side, and there's a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. The pitch was dotted down and away. Good location, but a great job at the plate to spoil it and drive it the other way. Beautiful swing. Man at first with one gone. Here's Andres Jimenez. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Now moved to first, and he's back in easily. Second inning here, no score. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. Next offering is downstairs. And now the lefty just missed. 
first pitch strike from the pitcher but then no panic at all by the hitter very patient showing good discipline now he's in the driver's seat with the three one count and here it comes swings and misses at the pitch off the plate no score here in the second Got him looking, and there's two away. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball really locked him up. And it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in, so you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball, but either way, that's a really nice pitch. Next to hit, Ernie Clement. That's a ball. First pitch, and he just misses. One, no strike. The lefty to 1 0. Into center and a base hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Austin Hedges stands in. And the first Whoa. offering is not close. Mercado over at second. Clement at first, two out of the inning. Foul ball. Here's a 1-1. One -one. There's a line drive to left field. Taylor makes the catch, and that'll do it. Guardians strand a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. We head to the bottom of the second. Bellinger up to hit. Leading up for the Dodgers, the center fielder, Cody Bellinger. The wind of the pitch. Yeah. Clips the outside corner. That's strike one. <laughs> Next one offering ball, in the dirt. Right. And one and one. Left-hand hitter waits. And now the count is even. Two balls, two strikes. Got him. That's one out the bottom of the second. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. So now Turner in on that right side. In there for strike one. Righty to the plate. Gets him to chase after that one. Big time jam right there. I hate it as a hitter, but standing in center field, you can't help but chuckle a little bit. It's softly on the ground to third. Clement picks it up. And Turner is retired. That is the right field. 
Alvarez. Now it's the right fielder, Eddie Alvarez. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Next offering upstairs. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Way inside, gets out of the way. Ground ball up the middle. Can't glove it cleanly. And now it's Gavin Lux. In there, and it's 0-1. Next offering is in for a strike. Kelly left that change up up. Got away with one there, and he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. Two outs. Swing and a miss, and that is that. So the Dodgers leave one. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. Here's the Cleveland leadoff hitter, Miles Straw. Miles Haney back to work. Called strike right there. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. That misses the zone, and a count even one and one. On the ground right side, and foul ball. Next pitch misses, two and two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Kicks and fires. Just off the inside corner, and the count's full. Next offering is foul back. Fouled off. He was late. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. He's over one. First pitch, not close. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. Straw gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Hey. 
and the pitch. Falling behind two and one. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory. Over to Turner for one. On to Freddie. Double play. Well, a very fast developing play right there. No margin for error. Nice double play on a fast runner up the line. And now the first baseman, Owen Miller. And that one fouled off. The pitch. And ball one. Top of the third, no score. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. That's back. That'll touch down off the base of the fence. And he's got a double. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Oscar Gonzalez. Oscar Gonzalez digs in for the Guardians. That one's in there, 0-1. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. Runner at second, two down. That misses. Ball one. Runner leads away at second. And a count one and two. Here comes a pitch. Popped up right side. Freeman in position. Makes the grab and that's the inning. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Welcome back. As we go to the last of the third. Trey Turner now. Not shortstop. The wind and the pitch. There's the strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes, even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Oh. Next offering is down low. His understanding of the strike zone, very impressive. That was a very close 0-2 fastball. I just don't know how you take that. Right through there, got him. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. No, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location no, there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're Ready. down in the count, you're so focused right on there. a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. No. First offering, and it just misses. Ball one, no strike. One down, base is empty. And now two and nothing. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. On the ground, right side. Jimenez, throw to first. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. And up to the plate is Will Smith.
Pitch misses inside. 1 and 0. Oh. And a ground ball to first. He steps on the bag. And that is the inning. Three innings complete. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. As we go to the top of the fourth. And now it's Josh Naylor. The pitch. That one, one way outside, and that is ball one. On the ground, right side. Lux throws the first in time. One up, one down. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Siggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact, and he gets outs. on but foul wide of third going to now and yeah, that One skips in the dirt down. And a swing and a miss. Two gone. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Andres Jimenez digs in for the Guardians. Struck out looking at his first at bat. And a foul ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Bellinger should have this one, and he makes the catch. And that's the third out. Guardians go down one, two, three, and we are still scoreless. Bottom of the fourth. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter, Max Muncie. For the Dodgers, the designated hitter, Max Muncy. Now the right hander ready to go. Still no score. And first offering is fouled off. Next offering is foul back. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. Next pitch inside. And a count one and two. Right side, hard hit, and there's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So digging in, Chris Taylor. First Look offering there. misses the mark. Oh. The next offering misses. Two balls, no strikes. The 
pitch. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Muncie, aboard here at first with nobody out. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. In the air, out to center. Straw on the move. And it's caught for the out. The center fielder, number 35, Cody Bellinger. One down, here comes Cody Bellinger. His first at bat was a strikeout. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. Kicks and deals. That one pulled foul. The next pitch misses and a count two and one. The two one. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And now it's three and two. Next offering is fouled back. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Got him swinging. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. And next for L.A., Justin Turner. Grounded out his first time. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. And Turner is retired. And that's the inning. One left for L.A., Still no score. Back here in L.A., top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Ernie Clement. The wind of the pitch. And that one missing low. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Number 38 looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Number 64, the lefty, warming up as well. Next pitch misses outside. And the count is 2-0. Turner with the throw to first. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Austin Hedges now. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. First offering, and it just misses. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. 
Next offering is in for a strike. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. The one two. And he grounds one to the right side. Whips it to first. And the first two set down on the top of the fifth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. So the lineup flips over. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Miles Straw. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next offering misses, and that's ball two. Center field. Grabs it on the run, and that is that. Guardians fail to score, and we're still knotted at zero. Bottom of the inning. Now here is Eddie Alvarez. Leading up for the Dodgers, the right fielder, Eddie Alvarez. And the right hander back to work. Just missed. Two balls, no strikes to count. The pitch. Pop up here, third base side. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrating with himself until his next at bat. Gavin Lux steps to the plate for the Dodgers. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. And that's in there for strike one. Next one misses. One ball, one strike. Next pitch is outside. Next pitch misses. And now three and one. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. And that's ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Now it's the Dodger leadoff hitter, Trey Turner. Good contact guy, good defender. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Hit hard. Base hit. To third, not in time. And it's runners at the corners with one gone. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. And first offering is fouled off. And he deals. He's looking nope. for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Ball to strike. Now a slow roller to second. The minutes. On to first. But it's 1-0 as the run scores.
Will Smith steps to the plate for the Dodgers. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Man on second, two down. He swings and fouls one off. Two outs and one in scoring position. The next pitch misses, and the count one and two. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. That one misses, two and two. In the air, right field, Naylor on his way over and puts the squeeze on that. And that is the inning. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. Five innings complete. It's the Dodgers one, and the Guardians nothing. And welcome back. And the batter will be the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. The shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. And a pitch. Into center. Bellinger drifts towards it, hauls it in for the out. Stepping up for the Guardians, Owen Miller. That hits the dirt, and that's ball one. Little dribbler up along third. Zips it across. It. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Two outs, base is empty. Oscar Gonzalez digs in for the Guardians. In there, and it's 0-1. Man, I mean... Nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. And the pitch. Slow roller up the middle. Throw on to Freeman. Third out. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Dodgers one and the Guardians nothing. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Bottom of the six. Here comes Max Muncy. The, Dodgers, the designated hitter. Max Muncy. Bieber back to work. That's a strike. Boog, that hook's looking pretty sharp today. Just a solid pitching performance so far, and I really think it's because of that curveball. Next offering is in for a strike. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Next offering misses, and it's 2-2. Two and two. Stays alive. Muncie hits one in the air. Mercado, long run. He can't get there, and that should be extra bases. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two strikes. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. 
Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. Now the left fielder, Chris Taylor. Now back, left fielder, Chris Taylor. In there for strike one. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. The 0-1. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Movement in the pen for the Guardians. Angel De Los Santos up and loosening in the pen. Castro getting cranked up as well. On the ground to third. Knocks it down. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Back-to-back -back base hits. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. Manager out of the dugout now, and he will make a move to dip into the Guardians bullpen. That's it for Shane Bieber, and he leaves in a one-run game. New pitcher coming on. We'll be back in a minute. The Guardians going with a new pitcher, Sam Hentges. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ball one, no strike. Muncy, the lead runner at second. Taylor at first with no outs. The next offering misses. And that's ball two. Two oh. And fires in a fastball at ninety five. A little bit low. Down is three one. And that'll load the bases. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Turner climbs in on that right side. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. The opportunity for a huge inning exists right here. Bases loaded, nobody out. But as a hitter, can't be over anxious. That pitcher's up against the wall. Make him come to you. And now the lefty. Good eye right there. Bases juiced, no outs. Huge strikeout there. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Eddie Alvarez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. First pitch just misses. One out, base is full. This one in the air right field. Naylor brings it in, two away. Oh, the throw is wild. Now back, second base. 
Here's the second baseman, Gavin Lux. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. And what you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. First pitch, and he just misses. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Whoa, Next one right misses, 2-0. and oh. Pressure's on right here. 2-0 count, base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three-ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. On the ground. And that will end the inning. And the Dodgers leave him loaded, but they hold a 1-0 lead. here at Dodger Stadium and now the right fielder Josh Naylor the right fielder Josh Naylor the wind of the pitch and that one just misses a ball and no strikes Next one is off the play. Ball two. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Daniel Hudson looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Bickford warming up as well. The tying run at the plate. And that one upstairs. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. That just missed. He walked him on four pitches. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Mercado in the box, lays off for ball one. Nobody out, runner at first. Fly ball to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Andres Jimenez digs in for the Guardians. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. Runner on the goal. Hard hit. Could be extra bases. And that's going to roll to the wall. Runner around third. He scores to tie it up. It's 1-1. Well, there you go. The RBI machine, another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Here comes the manager out of the dugout, and he'll make a move for the bullpen. Andrew Heaney departs, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Now on the bump, Yancy Almonte. A runner on second to deal with. He'll do his best to keep him there. Ernie Clement digs in for the Guardians. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Yeah. 
And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders now in an 0-2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. And a swing and a miss. Two away. Nice work there to get the strikeout, and that's a big second out. I'll tell you, this home crowd will be fired up. They can get out of this and leave that go-ahead run stranded in scoring position. This is a big moment in this game. So two down now, and here is Austin Hedges. That to right, Alvarez ranging back, and it's caught. And the inning is over. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. All even at one apiece. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Aniel De Los Santos. He's been so good against lefties. Trey Turner at the plate. Leading up for the Dodgers, the shortstop. The pitch. There's a strike. That's hard hit on the line. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. Around first, heading for two. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Punched that one down the line for extra bases. And that was an excellent job going with the pitch on the outside. Got his bat on plane and just drove it. A chance now to take the lead. And at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. And up next for Los Angeles, Freddie Freeman. First offering, misses the mark. Right-hander kicks, deals. Ball two. Two balls, no strike. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. At the belt and fires. Line drive, base hit. Turner coming home. He scores, and they have the lead. It's two to one. Clutch hitting right there to give him the lead this late in the ball game. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Will Smith steps to the plate for the Dodgers. The bat, the catcher. Will Smith. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. The 0 1. That's outside. And there's a ball. Runner at first with no outs here. Ground ball right side could be two. Slings to second. Relay to first. Double play. Two outs. Base is empty. Here's a big power threat. Max Muncy. Really good piece of hitting last time. Going to the opposite field. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Oh. 
Next offering misses, and it's one and two. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Two down, nobody on. That misses the zone. The count now two and two. The next pitch misses, and that's ball three. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Now with the shift on, hits right into it, and he picks it up in foul territory. That one ripped left field. This one's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. So one run in the inning on this base hit, and it's now a 2-1 ball game. New inning getting started. So in now for Cleveland, Miles Straw. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. And a pitch. Good eye right there. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Craig Kimbrell looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Next pitch is downstairs. Next offering is foul back. Next one misses three and one. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Well, that right there could end up being a big walk in this game. He's certainly a threat on the bases, especially with them looking to tie this thing up. And up next for Cleveland, Ahmed Rosario. Leadoff man is on. you got to be looking for the bunt here. Trying to get him into scoring position. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Straw gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next pitch misses, and now 2 0. -oh. 2 0. -oh. It's outside. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. And the righty deals. And there's a strike on the outside corner. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. On the ground, out to short. And that one finds its way through. And that puts the tying run on base. Well, a big swing of the bat right there. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And we'll take that any time you can get him to find a hole. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game. First and second, no outs. Owen Miller digs in for the Guardians. First offering, and it just misses.
The possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. Righty delivers. Lined, and that's a base hit. Headed for the plate. To the plate, safe. And we are tied. Tie game here in the eighth. Well, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Next to hit, Oscar yeah. Gonzalez. Squares, pushes at it, misses it. It's a strike. It's 0-1. And the right hater deals. Cool, and that one just missed off the outside edge. When the skipper calls down to the bullpen, he's expecting the guy to come in and get outs. So far, not getting what he was hoping for. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And strike two. Just couldn't get that one down, and it's really just about catching the ball with the bat. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Josh Naylor digs in for the Guardians. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. And now it's even up. I think he was sitting off speed there. Back and forth we go, a seesaw battle in the late stages of this one. The next offering misses. Two balls and a strike. In the air right field. That one on its way. Turning and looking and it's gone. He'll touch them all. His seventh home run of the season. It's 5-2. New what pitch he wanted to hit spit on some other pitches in this at bat was very patient and it paid off new pitcher now Evan Phillips he's being eased into the game here with the bases empty bases empty one away now it's Oscar Mercado one for three. Left field, Oscar Mercado. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Still only one out here in the inning. Ball 
Next pitch downstairs, and it's 2-0. Next one misses, and it's 3-0. Right-handed reliever, and now 3-1. and one. Three one now, three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally prepared, knowing that if it's not on a tee, you're going to take that pitch because you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. In the air to left center, he's got it. There's two away. Ernie Clement digs in now. And that's in there for strike one. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Mercado off of first with two away. One, two now. Popped up, Lux. Sizing this one up, snags it on the run. And that is that. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run homer. It's 5-2. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Trevor Steffen. 25th appearance of the year for him. Back here at the ballpark, ready for the bottom of the eighth. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Chris Taylor. The Dodgers in striking distance, but have some work to do. I think it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. The pitch. Strike on the inside corner. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Oh, and one now. In for a strike. And a count is 0 and 2. Quickly in an 0 2 hole, you're going to have to give something up here in terms of power if you want to put the ball in play with any authority. To the right side, Jimenez over to pick it up, gathers, and throws to first. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Cody Here's Cody Bellinger. First pitch just misses. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Next offering is in for a strike. Kicks and fires. And misses inside. Fouled off to the right. Well, that ball was hit pretty hard and sure had home run distance, but if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, 
you execute it. Just a long strike. You go after him and finish him off. Hit weakly on the ground. Jimenez collects it. Tosses to first. Two up, two down. Here's Justin Turner. First offering misses badly for ball one. Next pitch is outside. Two zero. Bounding ball here rolls foul. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Makes the catch up against the wall. Dodgers go down quietly, and the deficit remains 5-2. All set for the start of the inning. Stepping up for the Guardians, Austin Hedges. The catcher, number 17, Austin Here comes a pitch. Edge of the zone for a strike. 1-1. One, one. The pitch. And takes low for ball one. One ball, one strike. pitch that's off the mark and it's two and one next offering is downstairs kicks and deals in the air left field Taylor going back on this one. One away. Now Miles Straw. So up next, Miles Straw. In there for strike one. Righty to the plate. Now a one and one. And a one to one. Fouled off down the right side. One, two now. To the right side. Lux handles the chance to first. Two up, two down. Two outs, space is empty. Ahmed Rosario now at the plate. First pitch, and he just misses. And he deals. Swing and a miss. Gonna count one and two. 
Throwing the ball well, and they need this scoreless inning in relief right here. Been doing a good job keeping them in striking distance. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1 2 3. 8 9 1 2 up in the bottom of inning number nine. It's the Guardians five and the Dodgers two. Here comes Emmanuel Classe out of the bullpen. Out for the 30th time this year. Oh, he's having an excellent season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. Bottom nine. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Eddie Alvarez. Leading up for the Dodgers, the right fielder, Eddie Alvarez. The pitch. That one outside. 1-0. Oh. And a pitch. In for a strike. And it's 1-1. One one. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. Five. Next offering misses. 2-1. Two and one. Next offering is fouled back. Next one is off the plate. Counts full three and two. Three and two now. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. He's getting the barrel to the ball. He's just got to work on that timing a little bit. And a pitch. Three. And down on strikes. One out, bottom of the ninth. Probably throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow it just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike. Gavin Lux steps to the plate for the Dodgers. First offering misses the mark. The pitch. There's a strike. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. Next pitch misses and a count two and one. That one in for a strike two and two. And here it comes. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next offering is foul back. At the belt and fires. Hit hard on the ground to short. Whips it across, and they're down to their last out. Here's Trey Turner. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. And he drops it down the third baseline. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. He was racing down the line and probably didn't assume he was going to be safe until his foot hit the bag and looked up for the umpire. Nice bunt and great hustle to get himself a knock. So it's their last chance in this one. Now the number two hitter, Freddie Freeman. 
Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. The 1 0. And the slider catches the zone. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either. Just one out away. Try to close it out. That's inside, and the count is even two and two. Turner off of first with two away. Next pitch misses inside, and the count's full. And that one wrapped foul. Left hand hitter waits. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. Down to their final strike. Freeman will take his base. Oh, very close with the location right there. It's just tough to get rewarded on the call with pitches near the top of the strike zone. Next up, the Dodgers catcher, Will Smith. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Deal one. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Oh, and two now. Got him! And that's the ball game. Another day, another win. I really think these guys have forgotten how to lose a ball game. It's been so long since they've lost. I really don't know what else to say. They're just a can't-miss ball club right now. And your final score, 5-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.